recording yet? Uh, I am now. Go ahead. I'm okay. unfamiliar with the are you recording yet ship. Is that a different ship than the one that we were just on? No, no, no. You're in the Falcon class. Um... <laughs> it's been uh, retconned out. No, no. Yeah, it's 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 the warp entity ship. <clears throat> the are you recording ship? It's the warp entity ship. No, 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 no. Um, Sounds like a Zinchin ship. <laughs> and you just cleared the first section of the, the ship. You're trying to find the main heart of the warp entity to kill it, to destroy it. All right. And your sensor that you had that little um, what was that fucking thing called? That little tricorder thing. You're holding. You have three three possible spots: the reactor room, the bridge, and the warp the warp core. Do we spots? have? Do we have a medic? Yeah. Yes. That's the zeal. Yeah, I would. I, would I need, need one. I I have one points of wound that I just want to heal before I move on. Well, you I have one point of critical damage, which means that uh, you don't even have like twenty two points of wounds you need to heal. <laughs> I thought it was Karnal that got fucking. Yeah, that's me. Oh, okay. Yeah, I ate shit last time, so it's a. Uh, yeah. Also, uh. <clears throat> Boko, I want to just let you know you're coming in pretty quiet, even though I have you at like 200% volume in Discord. I have a different, I know, I have a different headset. Um, I guess I have my headset's in the truck, and I haven't cleared out the truck yet. Gotcha. And I, moved, I moved the mic away from my mouth. Can you hear me better now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So I don't want you to hear me eating, so I was like being polite. So. <laughs> Well, if you're really being polite, you wouldn't be talking if your mouth. You're closed. failing right now. You're kind of no, failing I'm, right now. I'm proving a point. <laughs> I'm just I'm giving you point. shit. I don't care. If, <laughs> I don't care about who's hearing that guy you that, 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 Who's that guy that banned me from a server, Moth? Was that Silent, silent or something? Or yeah. Who was that? Yeah, he that fucking banned me. He's like, fuck this guy. He must have been really pissed off that day. Nope. He was like that every single day of the week. It was kind yep. of pathetic. That was actually a day where he was slightly happier because he got to ban somebody. <laughs> <laughs> and he banned you and he got even happier. <laughs> Whatever. I um, I gave him the satisfaction of banning me permanently because I, yeah. I basically uh, chewed his ass out in no uncertain terms. Well, you might want to trim this from your radio if you're recording. The FYI. Ah, it doesn't matter. Why? Nobody knows who that guy is. Uh, I ghosted hey. his ass. I knew it would piss him off more. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he must have Anyways, uh, who's healing what? All right. Uh... You know what's uh? Sylvester oh, yeah. heal me for one point. <clears throat> Probably do this. It works. You're healed for like. Oh God! One, I one and a half points. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's four plus four plus one for every one of those. So almost eighteen. That's actually pretty good. Can I have heals, please? <laughs> yeah, your armor's pretty fucked up, so... Uh, your armor would have been reduced. What would you reduce your armor? Uh, so let me come up with a number, because he hates he, he some shit here, so... Let's do, but let's do half. Half of what your armor values are. Uh, rounding up or rounding down? Oh, you can round up. I'll be, I'll be nice. Yay. Neil Tyson, are you able to repair his armor? Ah, uh, uh, yes, brother. Shape? That is an excellent point. Uh, Boko, can I attempt to repair uh, Dandy16's armor? 
Or yeah. I mean, yeah, you have a shit ton of uh, what is it? Concrete paste. So yeah, leave. I've got. I have a lot of it, actually. You're right. I have like. Go um, ahead, do a tech roll. All right. Tech Two. use modifier. Uh, minus twenty. Pretty heavily damaged stuff. Oh, damn. Does the healing take uh, heal the critical damage as well, or does it heal normal wounds? Uh, it will oh, heal normal God. wounds. It cannot heal crit damage on these kinds of tests. That's uh, okay. long term care. Yeah. Okay. So, whatever you had is what you got still. So, I failed, but <clears throat> I'm, mm -hmm. I'm in a fuck around and find out kind of mood, but Dan, if you would like me to uh, re-roll that, you can spend a fate point. How about that? Cause it's your armor. Yeah, have it. You can have it. Sure. Take it. Alright, here we go. So it'll be minus 10 this time. And... Hey, I succeeded. Okay. Come hither, brother. I believe I can fix your armor. Yeah, well, this is just looking at it to see if you can fix it. So you're looking at it. It's extremely heavily damaged. Uh, you're able to patch it up to bring up uh, a quarter of its value up. All right. I used my so repair you... cement in the process. And I actually yeah, so didn't you... have a shit ton. I only have one uh, charge of the stuff. Right. So that would take that whole charge and you'd yep. be brought up to 5% of your total value. Then... I'm bringing by a quarter, yes. Better than half. Yes. <laughs> What's that? Oh, yeah. It was better, better than half. Yeah, yeah. But he All is right. charred to fuck. And uh, you notice as you're looking at it, like his armor is like uh, pulsating and black, and you see little tendrils coming out in certain areas. Oh, tendrils. that's not good. Uh, Brother Karnoff, it appears that the warp entities have corrupted your armor. We are in a corruption ridden, well, full, uh, in a zone full of corruption, so I would not be surprised if that were the case. Well, I'm glad you're not surprised because it is the case. Mm hmm. <laughs> we'll uh, dispose of it once we're done with this mission. Agreed. Do we have like... Have as Space Marines, do we have like any ritual we can perform to like... I don't know, hold the corruption at bay? Like praying? That'd, be the li that'd probably be the librarian, a chaplain, or... Moss character. Uh, Wait, what's... are people getting corruption points or something? What's going on? No, no one's getting corruption points. Dan's so armor is corrupted. Karnoff's uh, armor is is uh, tenderly. Uh, yep. He himself is immune to possession. Yeah. I don't know yes. about his armor, though. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, you didn't brand my armor. You put it on my, like... No, armor. I put it on everybody's foreheads. God damn. <laughs> yeah, okay. I took my helmet off and I pointed it in my forehead. Everyone's walking around with a purity seal slapped to their face. <laughs> I mean, if you wanna, if you wanna I know mean, what it was, I I like drew uh, the imperial symbol in blood on your forehead. Oh, you didn't have a giant cattle poker with a symbol on the end no. of it. Oh. No, you didn't. Okay. Is there any checks sure. you can do to determine uh, how bad it is? Corruption wounds? Any of you? Librarians? Or... Uh, I, mean, I would think I Zeno's lore. It. No, it's not a Zeno's lore check. It's a warp lore? No. <laughs> yeah, it would be a warp lore check. <laughs> Got it. Which technically I actually have. I can do that. Okay, go oh. for it. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know shit. You know it's there. You know it's there. That's it. Cause he pointed it out. I mean, do you want me to remove it? No. Just determine how bad it is. 
It's your, it, it's your armor you're wearing being corrupted. He, 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 Until he, the end of a mission, we have to complete the mission. Then I, I can, can literally you. fix it right now. All right, how can you fix it? Repel demon. <laughs> okay. All right. Minus twenty, but go for it. Oh, it's not a roll. It's not. What is it? Uh, hold on. Let me find where it is. All you have to do is just say it, and it's gone. <laughs> Usually. If I remember right, it's not a roll on my end, it's a roll for the entity itself. Oh. <clears throat> Do I get it ready? Ah, has to win an opposed roll power test to approach the faithful close than three times willpower bonus in meters, which is like 15 meters. Okay, so I have to do a what test? Opposed willpower test. So how do I do that? This will roll is willpower. Yep. Make sure willpower, you create a. Uh, make sure you create a character card for Dandy 16's armor. Oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, it's not the armor. Remember, it's one entity. It's one. Ah. Ah, true. <laughs> so yeah, so you see the tendrils just like dissolve right off the armor. Poof. The power of the Emperor compels you. The power of the Emperor compels you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if it fails, it's immediately pushed a distance of three times willpower bonus. But it didn't fail. It did Well, it He's failed the it. opposed tests. It lost. <laughs> oh, okay. It lost. So it's off him. So it's all around you. So it's off you, and it's around 150 meters out because of the shield. So it oh. only repels them, does not hurt them, and does not prevent them from using ranged weapons or psychic powers in any other way. Right. So you guys hear a shield. bellowing, bellowing laugh from down the hall. Echoes the halls. <laughs> That was a good laugh. Hey. All right, brothers. Let's move on. Thank you, Throne Agent. You're welcome. Oh, God. I hit a button. It pops up a window. Well, don't, well, don't press that button. Just don't press it. So, so as, we're doing as, it as you forward. Forward. Yeah, you guys hear... Uh, commotion this way. Alright. Are the doors closed? Yes. That one. But you hear a lot of commotion. Same thing up here. A lot of commotion here and here. Do we know where the uh, the the warp core is? So like, yeah, here. Let me go mark it on the on the map for you guys. Where this stuff will be. I don't know, probably have to ping it. Ping because it. Otherwise, it's going to be hidden behind the black darkness. Okay. Here. So warp core is going to be here. Oh okay. my god. That's pretty far away. Yep. Uh, let's see the. Uh, reactor room is over here. Okay. And the last one would be over here. What's the last one? The bridge. Yeah, the bridge. I did not catch any of those pings. I'm sorry. So, we had to zoom out pretty much the entire way. The uh, warp core is at the very bottom center. Okay. The uh, reactor is... Dead east of where we currently are. All right. And the bridge is just south of us. Gotcha. Well, a little southeast of us, but it's 
the closest point to us currently. So, uh... I marked the coordinates on the, on the map. And yeah. she sent it to the Death Watch channel. <clears throat> Parnoth provided some visual aid there. Well, not Parnoth, but... Parnoth's player. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> he has a name, you know. Dan. Dan B16. Dan B16 was kind enough to provide visual aid. There. Do you feel humanized now? No. Oh. Well, too bad. Oh, yeah, true. You are in Space Marine. I'm going to reduce you to your character for the rest of this, uh, session. Cool. Right. Anywho. Alright. Uh, probably skip. Probably don't need to go to the south. We could probably just move, continue moving east. What do you guys think? East of the reactor? And probably other locations. Yeah, I think, uh, I think going east to the reactor is the best bet if we want to destroy well, the ship. Uh, First of all, we need to decide whether we want to destroy the ship or continue using it to ram into other hostile ships Ooh. to help our fleet survive. That is an excellent point. But would we be able to do that while well, it's under the control of the demon entity, which is yes. the ship? Yeah, yes, true. so we need to destroy whatever is possessing. So presumably the warp core. Presumably. I would believe warp core as well, not necessarily reactor. Okay. But the ultimate decision is up to our glorious squad leader. Crew cool. team leader, go. So where's the warp entity right now? Is that the warp core? So we don't know where specifically know. he is. Uh, we have three locations of where best to blow up the ship, the warp core, the reactor, and the bridge. Um, using logic that has no business being in a role-playing game, <laughs> we could surmise that the warp entity might exist at the warp core. Um, but it, it could be anywhere. It could be, you know, in the bridge controlling everything. It could be in the reactor. Warp core makes the most like sense. Warp entity, warp core, but we don't know. What's the status of the ship <clears throat> battles right now? Do the we know? Battle? Like, know. You're, are you asking? Are you gonna comment to them? Yeah, I call, I call out. <clears throat> it's asking like for a status. Two minutes. Uh, since we landed on this ship. <laughs> Yeah, he tells you what he told you last time. Uh, they're they're they had the advantage in the battle, though the four additional ships just uh, came in, making things a little difficult <clears throat> for their fleet. Ship to, uh, ten ships total, and against against your guys' six, they're able to hold the line. Cause they have cruisers. You guys have cruisers and everything, so uh, you have good captains. And he knows that the loss of your guys is other your ship. So, the so battle is going in your guys' favor currently. I saw that moth. <laughs> so what? I don't know where we're at. I'm trying to find everybody. <laughs> oh, just, right here. Just look, look for the con just look for the constellation of. Like, yeah, I, I see you. <laughs> And then oh, nobody and else. Everyone else is underneath that. We're inside. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you inside the ring? Uh, -E. For defense. You got meat shields. Stop Stop hugging all the other Space Marines, guys. Come on. <laughs> Tactical spacing. Goddamn. Is that what you call crawling on that guy's legs? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go to the uh, reactor. <clears throat> Oh, the tech Marine getting frisky again. Sorry. Tech Marine can do what now? He said, is the Tech Marine getting frisky again? Oh. 
the I think the best thing to do is to destroy this ship as fast as we can. And it's just plenty charge at the reactor. <clears throat> you could so try to use this ship to blow up some of the other ships to complete that side objective too. Yes. So you'd have to purge the warp, warp entity. We, we would need to figure out where the warp entity is, and this map is huge. Can we By blowing up the reactor, is? there's a good chance of destroying uh, the warp entity as well. I don't know. I might be able to try and detect the warp entity. Um, I think that's a sign of science roll. Yep. Okay. Uh, any any modifiers to determine the uh, precise source of the entity, Thomas? Poco. Yeah. Poco. He got consumed by the warp in between them. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's Sad. He's far too gone. Too far gone. He's gone too far. <laughs> too far gone and gone too far mean like the exact opposite thing if you think about it, which is funny. I don't think. That's my that's my that's my strong. So he has far gone to. You don't okay. think you just do? I just do. There is no try. There is no try. There is the only do. Do or do no not. Do. There is no try. But yeah, uh, even if, if we go to the south, that's still hitting two potential locations instead of one. If we go to the reactor. So that's also a point to be made. So you mean like going to the efficient. bridge first and see what's there? Yeah, yeah, we can go through the bridge to the warp core, and from that we can go to the reactor. That's going to be the most efficient. You can also go to the bridge and just get a better right. situational awareness of what this, what's on the ship, potentially. I'm not sure if we if we go to the bridge, can we control the ship? See. So all this are we don't know, just potential maybes. Yeah. Right. So I don't. I think it would be best bet to destroy this ship as fast as possible in order to um, complete not only our mission but also get back and hopefully. Because um, if we destroy this ship, which destroys the warp entity, all the other ship will be freed, uh, which means it should. Uh, have a pause of chaos with our imperial ships just willing into them, blowing them up. So, I agree. On top of that, we are destroying this ship, which has we we, we do know that has magnificent power <clears throat> from the last two missions. We're destroying oh, yeah, which, our war barge. Uh, is this is this ship attacking other ships at the moment? Probably. That's a good question. Most likely. If yes, then we probably should destroy it as fast as possible, so the reactor could be the the fastest way to do so. so right, what I remember, you... this ship wasn't engaged in the combat. All the other ships were, though. Okay. Yeah, this ship was off by itself. Okay. okay. Not in combat. The main, the main, the main fleet drew them away to, uh, like, uh, just outside the their firing line around the moon. So they're fi fighting over a moon right now. Since you're uh, back, uh, I was going to make a send of science roll to try and pinpoint the location of um, this warp entity, like on this ship, like its core or whatever. Okay. Uh, any modifiers for that? Uh, I'll tell you right now. Okay. So minus, minus, minus 20. Is actively trying to stop you from finding it. Yeah. But I presume you're also being powered by your ring of your personal librarians. So that gives you an advantage of some sorts. Yeah, plus, plus 10. So minus 10 in total? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. He's actively trying to stop you from... At least locating where he is. Cool. Uh oh, I'm gonna, spend, I'm gonna spend a fate point. Ouch. Good thing it wasn't 88. Yikes. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Ooh. 
<laughs> um, spend a fate point. Use my fate point. Hang on, okay. can you spend two fate points in a row? Yeah. We have I think we've done so. Oh, okay. As long as you have you can burn all of them if you wanted to on a burrito. I don't care. I just keep forgetting, though, if that plus 10 s stacks with each reroll, or no. if it's just the one time. It's just no. one time. It's one point. time. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> just That's what you hear. It's just a 51, so... That's what you hear in the distance. <laughs> well, that is a 55. That is a double roll. This isn't a... Uh, this oh, isn't okay. not a psychic warp. test, then. Okay, cool, cool. It's cool. just, hear... just me feeling the, the warp. Cool. You hear it laughing at you, mocking you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly like that. <laughs> 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 yeah. Something like that. Anyway, I cannot determine the location of it specifically on this ship. You will never find my location. Don't well, need to. It doesn't talk, but. Come and get me! <laughs> no? Okay. Uh, it doesn't talk much. <laughs> Alright. Well, when it wants to talk, it does talk. Obviously, you encountered that. Okay, so maybe Yomug heard that in its head then? You all, no, no, you guys all heard it laughing as oh, soon okay. as he was trying to do sight science. Anytime he was doing anything, it was laughing at you guys. And you hear it echo from the ship. Like it's something physical. In the dark, scary hallways. It could be physical, brothers, but it could also be ethereal. You we don't do know. Or we do know? I mean, you can you can check. I imagine you have all that technology on you to determine what that laugh was. Uh, sure. It sounded it sounded inhuman. That's all you know, just based on how it's. Was... All right. What's the modifier for the tech use roll to, I guess, pick uh, up the sounds and uh, process them however I can. Uh, well, plus ten. Plus I also 10. assist okay. in. I also assist in the tech. All right. Another plus. Plus 20 total. Here we go. It's a legit mm -hmm. laugh emanating from the deeps of the deep bowels of the ship. Brother, you know, it is a that, is a, that is a legit laugh emanating from the deep bowels of the that ship. That is not a fake laugh. It is a legit one. <laughs> well, no, it's not, it's not in your head. It's trying, he's trying to confirm it's, it's not in your head. It's not in our head. My tech picked it up. Our, our, all of our... Uh, all of our uh, space marine suits and power armor registered the. Uh, and are you still laugh. focusing in yellow bug on, on your amulet? Of course. Okay. Are we? Can we triangulate? Do a willpower check for me too. Who? A yellow mug. Am I resisting a power or something? You're just resisting, yeah. You have okay. a cool. plus so 30. I get plus 35 because I have scrimped yeah. talismans on myself. Right. So and I minus get a plus 10. 35 of this. And then what? I'm minus 10. Just a minus 10. Is the 35 from your scrimshot talismans? So the 30 is from you, and then I have okay. uh, my little uh, trinket, because we all get a trinket thing that gives me a plus yeah. 5 to resist psychic powers. Oh, are you fucking kidding? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You want, do you, do you, do you, one more little power. My god. 98, jeez. Yeah. And you just hear it talk in your ear. No, no, I'm, I'm fading this. Okay. <laughs> there. <laughs> it's still oh, you still to add the plus 10. <laughs> God. Oh my God. Why are you giving me your rolls? <laughs> Who's this right? <laughs> Gambler's fallacy. I think the computer's confused me for you. <laughs> yeah, true. I want right? my rolls back. Okay, so where are you guys heading to? You guys going? Uh, are we able to triangulate the source of the laugh? No, it looks like it's, it sounds like it's emanating all around you, basically, but coming deeper from the ship, if that makes sense. It's coming from a direction, but not something you can pinpoint, like an echoey laugh. I'm an idiot. Mm. I've been off my character this whole time. Hmm. That's right. You should know the like general direction people. then. Right. We should we should know the general direction. Well, I mean, the only one direction to go is east, east and south here. 
since since the battles are in, on the moon and we're in the, kind of near the planet, and I don't no, see it's an asteroid field currently in the ship itself. Uh, it, it, which is above or near a volcanic planet. Does that make sense? So it's not orbit, but it's close by. Gotcha. We might just want to destroy the ship as fast as possible and then get out. If we, if we cannot triangulate the entity, entity uh, object, then we're just going to destroy the ship as fast as possible. Okay. Then he's kind of still boss. <laughs> just all the characters. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty great. <laughs> the choreographed librarian squad. Moving North Sasha. Brothers. And as you come around that corner, give me a second. That thing takes a shot at, at who is one of your guys. Takes a shot at one of your guys, hits them for 13 damage. And I'm sure your armor is more than that. They'll have taken, like, probably one point. Uh, oh. Or three, depending on where it hit. If it's the body, they'll have taken head. one point. Head. It's the oh, head. headshot. Oh. Alright, so someone's taken three points of damage out of, like, their 23. So do we pick who takes it, or is Boko going to do a GM roll? Oh, they have 23 life each? That's what you said? I mean, if we're just going to go out for what I've got. But... Oh, uh, okay. Which, I don't have, like, a spectacular... No, so... they're... No, actually, you're... actually, a twenty is the right arm. Yeah, so that's it's, fine. It's oh. still three damage. Yeah. Okay, so so they take three hits. It's just gonna be, I guess. Uh, okay. roll a d8, so I know which one. <laughs> number three, no. Uh, number two. Number two. Took three. Yeah, damage. And, yeah. You probably actually uh, the little red circles probably add add their damages there if you want. Or apply. Let's see. Do they have a character stat sheet? They do not. They're a generic token. But you can add token bars to them. Is how much life they said you had? Uh, twenty-three. Okay, twenty-three. So. So cool. So I'll just, I'll delete the others and copy this one. Okay. They're fading out of existence. No. They're replicating themselves. <laughs> That's hilarious. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, go ahead and reduce it. You should have control over their lives, too. Yep, cool. Let's get it. Rearrange them in a way that works again. Hey, I'll, just, I'll just do it on one of them. You said minus three? Okay. Yeah, but it's got to be in the correct one. Oh, that's true. Well, whoever number two is to your little list. Item guide number two four nine. Right. <laughs> uh, go ahead and do Domingus. Go ahead and do a um, awareness check. Modifier. Uh, plus twenty. Okay, you just hear this uh, door or something behind you open up. I hear a door opening from behind. Yeah. Maybe we should investigate that. <laughs> Maybe we should shoot the thing that shot at us. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I can handle that. Maybe you we can should shoot that. the thing that shot at us. <laughs> yeah, but that was just, yeah, yeah. So, that's a surprise round, and that's the other thing. Go ahead and roll. Is there enough for initiative here? There's... No, go ahead and fire Wait, back at it. This was That's a surprise right. round? For the enemies, yes. I am immune to surprise rounds. I get to act normally if I make a uh, 
Oh, okay. Agility test. Go, go make your agility test then. Oh, actually, I can do so as well. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> Aha! So you know they're behind you, and the the door just opened. Same with you, Karnoth. You know the door just opened. All right. Uh, I know that there aren't enough of my kill team to deal with that, so I'm gonna go and charge at the thing that shot. At yeah, my you favorite just... circle of librarians. Oh, yeah, you just, you just witnessed that as they came around the corner. It took a pop shot. At one of them hit him. I got a question Are you able to fire back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So against uh, the guys that opened the door, you can. Uh, but uh, Yelma, go since you're the, you can retaliate immediately. Oh, okay. Um, I assume the door in front of me is closed, right? It's a blast. It's a blaster door. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, is he shooting first or am I going first? Because I could win. Yeah, because because technically, uh, yeah, yeah. Turn off and Moff should go before anyone else. Okay. Because they are unsurprised, because they can't be surprised. <laughs> so, <laughs> hang on, I've got a question related to that. What what skill allows you to do that? Just curious. A rapid re a reaction. Yes. That's amazing. I um, have an, something that gives me that as well. Heightened reactions. It's essentially a bunch of the fast acting skills all mi mixed into one. So... so Oh. Yeah, and you're falling behind the librarian, so you would have just saw that as that happened. So you can immediately react to it, Dan. Mm hmm. Oh boy, nice. Nice. Ooh. Minus, uh, minus 23 from that. It has 5 pen only, this yeah. pack. Yep. Minus, so it's minus. It's minus twenty eight. That one has ten. It, yeah, it's normally minus twenty eight. So it's okay. Two. And then another minus twenty three off that would be how much? Thirteen. Yeah, that'd be thirteen. 30, 30, yeah. Thirteen gets through. Oh, it's hurting. Uh, and then, um, Sylvester or uh, Moth. Uh, you can go now. You're not surprised. Alrighty. You immediately know those guys. Open the door behind you. And then Demega, since you heard it, you can respond after Moth character. Alrighty. Ah, they're well right. Oh boy. Uh, I guess full auto on the guys behind me then. <laughs> Don't be in front of me. <laughs> Oh, there is rapid reaction. Spring three, Space Marines advances. Ah, <laughs> uh, five hundred. Yeah, uh, prerequisite is you have to have agility of forty. My agility is my worst head of thirty nine. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. So they're all dead. You just see a pile of blood and guts <laughs> running Damn. down that hallway. <laughs> I nod. <laughs> Brazora playing the Uno reverse card. <laughs> I'm not even disappointed at myself. I'm just... just not. <laughs> Oh no. Kill team, stand down. You hear that in your your uh kill team com channel. Who the hell is that? That sounds like our dearly departed battle brother Anseus. Okay, so definitely fight harder then. Yes. Yes. My thoughts were like, are we about to listen to some battle uh, boss music? I don't know. <laughs> you will become one of God. Stop your heresy. There is only one God, and that is Omnissiah. 
I shake my head as if, as if trying to get that voice out of my head. Oh, it's in your, in your comms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you're gonna turn your comms off? No, I, I just like trying to shake my head. Well, uh, and I, if I can, yes, I will do that. Yeah, you can. Anytime. So, I would like to remind you all that I was the close... One... What? Yeah, you were? You were close to Antius? I was very close to uh, Antius. To, not, like, close as in, like, knew oh, him we very all know well. what you mean. But <laughs> I literally watched him die. Because I have my plasma pistol drawn on him. Or my, I guess my bolter pistol at the time. I had that drawn on him. And I watched him shoot himself in the head. So hearing his voice for the first time since he died has me a bit shaken. So I'd like to do a willpower check. Sure. Alright. Modifier on that. Minus 20. Alright. This should be interesting. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you get that many insanity points. Three. Do what? You get that many points. Three All of right. them. Three, okay. Oh, jeez. Are, are insanity points temporary? Nope. I know, like, corruption uh, nope. points are very much, you keep them forever kind of a thing. You keep both. Cool. You can, you can spend I think there's a, 100 there's... XP to take rid of one corrupt, uh, insanity point. Yep. Alright. What, what, what's insanity points? Uh... So and, uh, when you get a, when you get enough of them, there's a table your character goes off of, and at some point he becomes incoherent and just plain out evil, or whatever. It's, just, it's a the table like that um that other table that uh Yamuk yeah. has. He just does something random when he gets enough of them. Yeah, gotcha. true. In fact, you guys suffer temporary insanity when that thing roared at you guys. It does shit like that. Hmm. So, uh, having, having failed my willpower check miserably, uh, I, I start, uh, I start shaking, and, uh... Well, let's see, while we go to the table, there is a Ooh. table. Oh, there is a oh, table? For, okay. There is a table. Hold, hold on, Kobler. What? Reroll your willpower test. I have a thing that makes it so, uh, people who can see me reroll failed fear and, um... All right. What does it do the, to the modifier? Anything? Uh, nothing. You just re-roll the failed test. Well, right. imagine it'd be a minus two point nine. Then this would be a thing. Okay, so it's two points. Two points of insanity. But still, um, after hearing Ancius's voice for the first time, uh, I'm. Uh, I guess how how do you say this? Oh, yes. I, I'm I'm shaken and I'm physically shaking now, and yeah, uh, it's it's enough to be at? visible to the rest of you guys that I'm shaking. Mm -hmm. How about that? Possibly. Uh, there's Dude, a table wonder, though. What uh, what page is that, that? That's for the fear tests. That's the yeah. Shock fear table. tests. That... Yeah, yeah. He, he, let's do that. Let's make All it right. interesting. All right, cool. But that's that's okay. That's not. Oh, I know. I understand. Uh, that's what make it interesting. Fear, fear test? Cool. I'm pretty sure That's I took the psychic power. Yep, I took Inspire, so I can help him overcome his fear. Alright. 277. Page 277. Fear go. comes oh. into effect when a person faces unnatural hordes and mind-bending foes. Or when he is called on to battle against terrifying aliens and same perversions as science and nightmarish entities from the warp, like Ansius. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right. Uh, so, when player character is confronted by such a frightening event or adversary, he must take a fear test. It's a willpower test modified by how frightening the thing is, uh, which I failed. Uh, yeah, yeah. You all right. That, so. If I failed, I succumb to fear. Yep. Space Marines do not deal with fear as do other men. They are only marginally affected by fears and foes, and then only by those of truly mind-breaking terror. Okay. So and, it, and it's a uh, it's a one d one hundred plus ten for every degree of failure, which is you had two degrees of failure. All right. So one d hundred, hundred plus two uh, twenty. One d hundred plus then, twenty. Got it. Okay. Uh, roll one d one hundred plus 
Well, the nice thing is, is you can't three. die from this with that 1d 100 plus 20. All right, so I rolled a 76. The character is frozen by terror. He may, he may take no actions until he snaps out of it. After snapping out of it, the character makes all tests with a minus 10 penalty for the rest of the encounter. Yep. All right. Ooh. It's cool. I may be able to fix this. Yes. Once it becomes my turn. Oh, look at 101 to 120. Sure. Just faints. Because Moth is oh. wet. <laughs> look at 1 plus 171. You just die. Oh, yeah, God. That was a surprise round, remember that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, if we're doing initiative rolls now, it's when we would do them, I guess. Yep. Well, there's only one monster left, so you don't really need to do it, I'd imagine. Because that door's still shut, so these other guys are not engaging you. Gotcha. So, go ahead and do your attack there, Heracles. Oh, uh, cool. Well, I would do that, but one guy just started freaking out a little bit, trembling his oh. boots. So instead of attacking, I'm going to do a uh, a psychic power, okay. Inspire. Can you divert your librarians? Yeah, you have eight librarians. I probably can't. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. My librarians can attack the thing, and then I can do the Inspire, because it's just a half action, so I can focus on the thing and actually um, cast this power. Okay, cool. Uh, so, uh, first the attack. Misses. Nice. Oh. Mm -hmm. Rolled a Rolled 100. A 100 oh, oh, no. Oh, no. This is, this is, it's, All it's my patterns are fettered unless I say otherwise. Got it. <laughs> unless hey, I say otherwise, they're all fettered. Oh, um, you were so excited at first. <laughs> so, so, the first guy, he kind of just trips. No, he's he trips. Oh no no! I have to once for like dominoes. Oh okay, so okay, well one. Yeah, yeah. Re remember oh, I was. Hang I was on, I'm like lost idea. Rolled once for everyone. Got it. So one trips, one's kind of freaking out, picking them up. The other one's kind of like. Oh, oh hold on, uh, hold on, hold on. Door. I'm I'm sorry to interrupt you, Boko, but I like Moth's idea where one of them falls over and then it knocks the rest of them over like dominoes. Yeah, that's just. <laughs> You know, that's what yeah. happens. There's more confusion going on. So, they, they, one of them got shot, so they're all panicking and confused still. Damn. They're not panicking as a space marine would. They're trying to figure out what's going on. Well, that's fine. I'll fix that too. And with my power, I'm going to uh, a fettered uh, inspire. Okay. Succeeded. Hey. Barely. All that mattered. All that matters is I succeeded. It doesn't matter what degree is I. So everyone has been like um, 10 meters of me. So in a space of me. Um, you I have bad news. Hey, what? <laughs> My, you uh, it's a sustain. <laughs> it's a sustain. So I can take a 10 foot step movement with our free 10 foot step movement. And now Very he's cool. in range. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> <laughs> only his only his foot is in range. <laughs> hey, That's my full yeah. ten foot step. Yeah. Thank you. Your, your your kind words inspire him. What's the psychic <laughs> power? So everyone has been basically my ring. All right. Well, in that case, <laughs> uh, standing on a tile within my uh, in my ring's presence. Um, I snap out of being frozen by terror. Well. Yep. Per the rules, it's everybody gets a plus 10 uh, to resist fear checks. So now you've already made the fear check, so I don't know how this works against people who have already done it. Well, I would have failed I anyway, so. even with the plus 10, because yeah. I got minus 2. Right, I mean, but because you're now under the effect, I don't know if that would, like, compel a new test. Or, uh, or snaps out of let's it. Do now. Let's, do new, let's do a new test. Go ahead, roll. Roll we'll willpower? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Is this going to be... What's the modifier on this? Plus uh, you get it. Yeah, plus 10. Plus 10? Yeah. Oops. That's almost incorrect. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh! I rolled a 7. You do more rolls like that. He's very inspired. So I immediately snap out of uh, being frozen in terror. And, uh... I guess I just have to make minus 10 for every roll during this particular encounter now. Yeah, I just have to kill this thing and we'll be over with it. 
I don't know, maybe Boca wants to throw me another bone since I've rolled pretty <laughs> low, but that's... Maybe. We'll see. Okay, we'll see. I like it. Uh-oh. Uh... By, by the way, I did uh, I did the heroic leadership talent thing wrong when it affected Cobra like that. I'm supposed to roll a command thing to do it first. Ah. And Dominguez, what are you doing? Watching the door. You're just watching on the, the west side. Still? Okay. Yeah. So then, I think everyone wins. So the mechanoids want to go again. So. He's gonna hit you for. She can try. Fifty oh. damage. Oh. Do you wish to oh. parry or block that? Don't, don't worry about it. I got this. I, What's I, I just take the damage. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think even you could take 50. I think oh, you want to oh, oh, oh. spend That's... a big point on that. I think I have a thing. Let me, let me look at my talents again. Yeah, that that wasn't Anthes that did that. That was the mechanoid, so don't worry about what that says. Oh. We know. I used the mechanoid's character. Man, I got, I got excited. I thought resurrected uh, Chaos Anthes would be attacking us. <laughs> yeah, I have to spend a will. Uh, I have to spend a fate point idea. on this one. Well, 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 Antius huh? may or may not have been psychic, so that could still be a thing. Got him. Hey, you barely blocked that shit. Oh. <laughs> it like it grazes me on my pauldron and almost hitting my yeah, head. Well, it's yeah, it's like a it's like a many tentacles come at you. You're just like yeah, holding it just barely, and it's your turn. All right. Uh, is it to try to? <clears throat> okay. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see here. You You've been shit. dead with that one, haven't? Wouldn't you? Uh. Yes. Let me see. Actually, seventy-five percent of your armor plus fifty coming your way. Even if your armor is like thirty-two, that would have killed you. <laughs> Because it would have put you over 10 of uh, critical damage. Which all those over, like, any yeah, 10 would have plus on me. any chart would have just straight up killed you. Yeah, it would have probably killed me. Just just a normal day at the uh, office. Don't, nothing, <laughs> nothing fancy. <laughs> so these, yeah, these things are super deadly. So, um, telling you at range is preferable. See. 10. And, yeah, that's it. Hell, that attack would have killed me. Okay, all three of them hit. Very cool. It's dead. Or what, yeah. you consider, what you consider dead. It's no longer moving. Mm, but I'm not sure it's dead. And I'm, I'm not. I'm not quite sure. Just I'm gonna kick it once. Times. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna kick it. All right, now that's done for. Tesseract is now free from his. Yep, true. Thing. Hey. Okay. Hold fast, brother. Do not let its words taint your resolve. All I right. Peek around the corner. Oh, we can go oh, north geez. as well. Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Brothers, there's a pathway to the north as well. That's a lot of... They're, they're going to come through from here as well. To the north as well. So we probably need to defend that spot when we... That's uh, a lot of I... Imperial Guards and that fortification... Well, I guess we wouldn't see it because the door is closed, right? Yeah, we, we don't know that. There's right. clearly a viewing window. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, say there's a, I'll say there's a window. You guys can look through the windows. It's a blast door. Well, window. That so do, do we us. know which... Oh, what is this? That's probably void cannons that have already been set up. So, as you're looking at them, it looks like the similar setup they saw last time. You see two bolters and another void cannon. Or a void rifle. Is that... Ready to shoot the? Yeah, yeah it's all assembled. It's you see up. them just like, 
Yeah, you already see them aiming at that door. Uh oh. Uh, Alright, stand back, stand back. Question When the void roughly exploded, did it explode on its own or was it shot at? I was like, I didn't. Uh, we uh, killed the guy who was arming it or manning it. Yeah, and that created okay. the explosion. Okay. He was okay, literally arming it because his arm was literally attached to it. That's correct. Okay, okay. Was it 150 this, meters? This, this one, this one, you kind of see the guy. Yeah, this one, you kind of see the guy like on top of the the gun with both arms in the barrel itself, on the sides. Ooh. His arms right. are in the barrel. Like, uh, the put, uh, like he's like he's um, wrestling it. It was what it looks like, and you see him just looking up, and he has like a <sighs> optic of some sort. I vote to not go this way. Right. <laughs> Let's he go doesn't north. Look, he doesn't look too healthy. I don't know, dude. I think uh, rather than taking a vote, you might want to uh, do your As squad leader. leader thing and order people not to go that way. Let's not go that way. How about that? Hmm. Is that an order? <laughs> yes, sir. I'm not a sir. You're the sir. <laughs> Right. Are we going <laughs> north, or are we, or are we going south? Uh, well, we're, we're not going, going right. east. North Turn also leads that. to east. Okay. From the looks of it. Sweet. Someone watch our west side. Yeah. So the main I can, I can see the They're audible quick as soon as you step right there. Oh, it's not where? moving. I stop immediately. Stop uh, moving, and I look down to see if I stepped onto something. Hey, as you look down, you can tell it's some sort of tripwire. Oh, I boobooed myself. Right, it, it it didn't go off yet. But... Um, can I move, you, slowly move back, or... I don't know. Did your character have tech use? You can try to analyze it. No, I mean, like, did he... I do have tech trip use. Wire? Did he... What, what happened to the trip where he hit? Uh, it's, he just tripped it. But it's, oh. It's not fully engaged. Alright, what's the modifier? Uh, I am trained in tech use as well. Yep, plus 20. Mm. Mm. So you know uh, this is probably... It doesn't look Imperium, where this trip tripwire crap is. <clears throat> and you're very certain it will go off if you were to move from your position. Oh. In threat. Yep, brother Tech Marine, can you look, take a look at this? Uh, so I want to move forward, and what's your step? Yeah, what's your step? exactly. Um, I'm, I'm getting to that. Don't worry. Uh, and actually, as I move I do, forward, can, before you move forward, can I do awareness check to see if there's other traps? Yeah, I'm gonna do sure. the same thing. Minus the same minus, thing. Minus forty. <laughs> oh wow! Okay. Also, so do an awareness you, check. I'm definitely not aware. You're you not aware of anything. <laughs> but Demangus, having studied this one a little bit, you look around and you see that there are indeed some other traps down this corridor. Like they purposely made it this way. Like the whole area is one big trap. Can we see where? Uh, can we see where they yeah. are? Yeah. Let me let me let me mark where you, what you see. So you obviously got <coughs> more. You got you got you see another one over here, and you're able to see that there's some sort of laser sensor here. I really like that. To where? Where is that laser sensor pointing to? Wait, the sensor is like... up here. He doesn't. He doesn't know. He just noticed it when he's looking oh. around, scanning. Okay. And why don't you guys throw a grenade? 
right here to see what kind of explosion this uh, is? Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. Because these traps, these traps could, for all we know, this could be rigged to, I don't know, that the reactor. That could be all one trap. Yeah. Gotcha. It could all be rigged to the same trap. And I would know that, because I'm a tech marine. Maybe. Do you want to come and investigate? Uh... Uh, yes, I would like to investigate and see if I can particularly disarm the trap that, uh, dude is on here. So, will that be a technique? I'm not sure if I can assist. I can only stand still. You can assist by standing still, brother. <laughs> Allow me. Alright, modifier oh, to I'm disarm. The plus 10. <laughs> you do have a mind impulse unit, so don't forget about that. Oh, that's true. I see. Should I do an awareness to see if these guys are moving in? Uh, yeah, go ahead. You can see what they're doing. Modifier? Uh, plus 20. Alright, what's the modifier for me to disarm the trap that dude triggered? Oh, hmm. you see that they're okay. bringing up one of those... It looks, it looks very similar to the other Void Horror rifle down the hallway. You see them starting to set something up. All right, I'm you gonna hurry up turn and to disarm if this. You, want. You, can, you can spend like a full action to aim, and it will give you a plus twenty to hit if you decide to shoot. Yeah, you want to? Hang on, uh, Boko. I'm gonna try and disarm dude's trap. So, what's the modifier on that for tech use? Minus, minus forty. Minus 40, okay, damn. It's not Imperium, you don't Ooh. know. He doesn't know. Unfamiliar. Oh boy. So, you're able to just barely, like, it has some things in common with Imperium stuff. You see the very similar things and some other stuff you don't recognize at all. You're able to get his leg off of the device and basically reset it nicely. So it's, it's still there, it's just he's off the trap now. Here, brother, it... I've disarmed the trap. Carefully not, step it, off of it. Armed. Well, it's, it's not disarmed. Armed. It's, uh, it's, it's still armed. You re-engaged it. I yeah, engaged re the trap. It. Yeah, re anything... here? Hmm? Can we see anything, any traps in this direction? Can I awareness? awareness? Sure. Uh, can I move back to the west side? Yeah. Yeah, you can move back. Um, modifier? Uh... Minus 20? Yeah. You have just no idea. At the other direction. As far as you're concerned, it's a clear path. Oh, would you look at this great pipe I found? Yeah. So, mm -hmm. you can go right through it if you want. As far as you're concerned, it's a clear path. I also Can I also do an awareness check on that little hallway? Are you helping Karnoff? Sure. And then, Eric Lady's, what are you doing this whole time? Just waiting for the, them to do the thing? Yep, and just, you know, making sure warp entities don't spawn on us. That's true, Modifier. that's all you can do. Uh, Modifier? Huh? Modifier? Or awareness? Let's check the, this, right. this section. Minus 20. Yeah, it's all clear. Should I take a peek too? You can. <laughs> you can. Sure. I'll take a peek. What's over there? Yeah, minus still, three. still minus one. I don't like. I don't like this, but I feel like I'm gonna have to go through. <laughs> hey. The observation mastery. Oh. Oh yes. yeah. Okay. So. Uh, it's very subtle, but you see that there's a pressure plate in here. Don't step right there, that's a pressure plate. Oh no, it might set off oh, a block of TNT. <laughs> so we're not going this <laughs> way I'm either. Of TNT. <laughs> he said pressure uh, plate. If you hear I thought it, Minecraft. <laughs> so, yeah, Yelma, go ahead and do uh, another uh, check. Minus 20 this time. As you're focusing on that uh, amulet. Minus 20 this time? Cool. 
Is this to resist something, or what am I doing? Yep. Yeah. Oh, you, okay. you, you, send, you can sense something is trying to get at you guys. I mean, you obviously know those things trying to spawn on top of you, so. Oh. Uh, Eric Lady says, fuck off. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, I, I can fly this, over. I have, a, I have but, a feeling this is in the way for me to shoot these guys. Is it? it you would be tripping that, that, that mine again. No, if I shoot it, shoot at them from my position. Uh, I don't think you can. I don't think you can from here. You don't have line That's of sight. The, yeah. Okay. But, uh, yeah, Eric Clades, you notice the aim is starting to, starting to get really warm. As in someone's about to shoot a Void Spear at us again? Not that hot, but you can tell uh, your amulet is probably being pushed again to its limits. Mm -hmm. It's best if you hurry, brothers. This amulet won't last much longer. <laughs> Alright, so we have two choices. Push the blockade, go back and push the blockade, or go through traps and go through this tiny tunnel. So I want to try disarming this pressure plate thing, obviously without stepping on it. Oops, uh, I selected both our characters. Sorry, we about don't have that, much Dan. time. Start, yeah, as you guys are being whatever. We don't have much time to disarm. I mean, can we just go around it? Is it is it there enough space to go around it? Right. I have a feeling there's going to be more traps nearby, so we can only defend this area. And try to push the blockade. Yeah, true. Um, um, I'm personally more worried about what happens when that void cannon explodes. Right. So you guys start hearing a uh, clamoring and the clunking, very heavy pound, pound, pound coming down that that hallway. Tink, tink, tink. Yep. You see a giant, a blob thing with a giant, just red eyes. Looks like a uh, something took apart a dreadnought. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh. There's always the south route. There's always the south route. Yep. And you just see it uh, come up behind that gun. And it's kind of like uh, embed itself in the. You just hear the guy scream as it's embedding itself into him. Oh no. That's no longer feasible then. <laughs> that that void can is going to be mobile in a second. Yeah, anyway, oh. so we are also pressed for time if we are to do something. All right. Well, I don't be. think we should stand around deliberating what to do next. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just start marching south. All right, I'm following the squad leader. Right. But you guys do know as it is, it doesn't proceed any further than it already already is moved. So it's like something's blocking it. Probably the amulet. <laughs> Who, Who knows? You know. Who knows? This could be the path to the react. Maybe the warp entity is the reactor. Look how much resistance this is. Uh, no, reactors are not mobile. No, <laughs> so. no, no. Look how much man oh, you they're mean... trying to force us to go through just to get to the reactor. Oops. Well, that would be instant destruction of the ship so at least we know yeah. the warp entities on the ship then let me know it's not fucking dumb All right you just see you guys are looking through you see it looks like men do we see that. oh yeah you do see, we you see saw any vents vents so the vents. door oh where it is Awareness on all of us? Okay, who opened the, uh... We were looking for vents. Yes, oh, because, right. uh, human-sized vents. Perhaps. Oh, you to... mean space marine size, right? Maybe space marine size, if they are big enough. But I doubt that there would be any space marine sized vents. No, I doubt it. Uh, you do are able to find an air duct. Air ducts. Because I presume they would also set up a uh, a kill kill zone behind that door. If we open it, it would be a uh, also a death sentence of sorts. 
so if we can we maybe, have I don't know, a diversion or distraction maybe or something or something. That's just an option we have. Is this air vent human sized? Yeah. Oops. Oh, jeez. Nope. This will be bad. We don't see that. We don't see that. Well, you, you do. You do see all of it. This is this, uh... the 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 big big thing spawning and then shrinking. Well, it's not. <laughs> not big. It's, it's not a big thing. It's just you're, you're able to tell that it's a. Uh... You guys, you, uh, cause I'm sure one of you guys is looking through or using a sensor to look through. Sure, I am. Yeah, you're able to deter discern that it is uh, not a, not a human entity, whatever it is. Is it a dark Eldar? I have hatred towards them. I would know what they look like. Uh, you're no, you don't. Definitely not dark Eldar. You want, can right. we identify it? Yeah, if you want, can you see more of them roll in. Yeah, Laura Zenos, I guess. Is it a regular Eldar? Because I have hatred of regular Eldar. Your character knows what Eldar look like? Then yes, it is Eldar. It so, is Eldar. Wow. Yep. Wait, you just said it wasn't Dark Eldar, so it's regular Eldar? They're, yeah. Well, huh. They're similar, but they are, yeah, still. Very different. They look okay. very, very different. No, but right. like as a it's a difference between a chaos marine and a space marine. Yeah, I have. Yeah. Uh, his character, Moss character, would know dis d distinctly if it was a dark Eldar entity, right. and it was not. Right. And your character knows distinctly what an Eldar is, and you do recognize them. So, because Let's I have a hatred of the... them, do I have to make some kind of willpower check? I don't think so. No, you're just no. No, it's it's a, no that just means you get a bunch of bonuses against them. Got yeah, it. Anything. Okay, sweet. We're just gonna push to the cell. Let's open this door. Uh, hold on. Hold them on. down. Hmm? I'm gonna go through this air vent. See where it goes. I guess. <laughs> okay, make a distraction. I'm the wait. only one that could fit. Uh, should uh, our tech marine make a an IED to blow up open the door? At the same time, to maybe confuse them. So you you diverse like you distract them, and then we uh, come in guns blazing, uh, like after a huge explosion, which like takes them by surprise. I don't know. You, you might be able to pop a hole in that, and then just throw grenades through. Was it true? You guys just hear this blaring. I ain't through your comms anymore. I don't have like, my comms. Uh, no, it's on the, it's on the ship, ship comms. You hear it blaring through the ship. It. Like they're using the ship's uh, comm system. Somebody shoot the goddamn comms. <laughs> shoot the comms. <laughs> so, yeah, so you just hear Ansius telling you guys to surrender. Like you guys are surrounded. We have you surrounded. Surrender. I start crawling through this air vent to see where it More goes. More like an idiot space battery. Yeah, so, uh, is anyone going to throw in grenades? Is anyone going to make an explosive device? Is anyone going to do something? Is the door open yet? No. It's closed. Oh, Dora went through the, the, because it was just a couple bolts, and she was able to pop that up and get through. Once they're open, it's just, I can throw AOEs in there. So open the door. All right, hold on. Where does the air vent go? So, <laughs> as you go to the air vent, as you go to the air vent, it comes over here, and then you see a turn. Uh, the rest here. past where I'm at is dark. Yeah, and over here. Oh, well. Ah, I see. Yeah. So you could just hug the wall if you want to. But it hugs that wall. And it hugs that wall. And then you see another turn. You should keep following the, the, the wall. Sure, why not? Yeah, you see another turn this way. I'll just keep making arrow lines for you. Okay. Are and you able ready? To, yeah, and you're able to see out too. There's ventilation, which you can see out. So everything you, you can see, 
you can see. All right. Okay. Would uh, would a uh, Neo Tyson tell us that those creatures are Eldar in there? Yeah, because I would I would be basically um, seething because I'm I'm seeing literal Eldar on the other side of this door, and no. I hate Eldar. Can you tell us anything that might help us combat them? Um. No, these are Eldar, and I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> Their ears are pointy, and they suck. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> now, by you, are you analyzing them, Tesseract? Uh, sure. I'll make a uh. Check on that, I guess. What you, uh, Eric Page, you analyzing them too? I'm waiting for the door to open to uh, channel all my power into the room and blow a bunch of shit up. <laughs> <laughs> is it, uh, is it Zeno's lore? Yeah. So right, that's what I'm you see. In front of a door. <laughs> What's the modifier on the Zeno's lore check? Uh, plus 20. Oh, okay. Sweet. I guess I'll make my way back over to here. Oh my so god! I rolled a 99. I'm going to fate point that. <laughs> what, what? Okay. That would give you something interesting for that one. Yeah, actually, yeah. What, what, what can you tell us? <laughs> uh, the 99? Oh, these are just a bunch of soup boys. They they're make orchards of cabbage. <laughs> no, they're cabbages. They're, they're the soup squad. The kitchen squad. They make, you know, all the food. <laughs> We didn't bring you goddamn cabbages. I knew it. So, so Boko, you're saying that the you're saying that I would be telling everyone they're soup makers, right? Yeah, these guys are soup cook. cook uh, yeah, they make soup. They're soup, and they <laughs> they're soup yeah, cooking are. Eldar from the ship's kitchen. Actually, yeah, hold on, just... hold on a second. I, I Wait, like that I can't be Neo right. Tyson. I stopped Neil Tyson. This is not relevant information. <laughs> oh no! It's a heavy weapons team. Oh my 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 bad. It, it's yeah, not pretty a suit. much. It's a team. It's a right. I knew right. that I wasn't right. Our guns look like whisks and spatulas. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, the Eldar's uh, whisks and spatulas look very similar to their guns. Uh, there you go. Well, they are a race that you know uh, well out of character that they are a race which incorporates many different lifestyles. Like they have aspects and stuff. So, of course, makes sense. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, it turns out these yeah. are actually the uh, food fighter squad. <laughs> <laughs> Fruit ninja fighters. No, but it looks like they're food setting fight. up uh, an Eldar heavy weapon. Oh, we need to open this door and get in right now. And Moth, you have a clear shot of everyone inside that room. Yep. yep. So what are you doing? Uh, I guess I'll wait for the door to start cracking open so I don't get, you know, immediately lit up in this narrow vent. True. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll wait Neil for Tyson, ambush. open the door. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to do tech use to try and find a uh, manual cool. override on the blast door. Modifier Bef for that. Okay. That door opens. I'm letting loose some psychic hell. Since we are about to open this door, can I make an impromptu shield out of maybe the steel, uh, like or some like uh, paneling, to take some brunt of the damage that's about to r rain on us? Go ahead and do an awareness check, and we'll see what we can do. All right. What's the modifier for the tech use to try opening the door? Uh, minus 20. Alright. Karnoff, you do find some... You find a, a Imperial Guardsman blaster uh, shield type thing. You can use that. You can pick it up. It, for an Imperial Guardsman, it's huge. It protects everything. For you, it's like a tiny little shield you can pick up. Mm -hmm. Mr. Tyrant, tear down this door. So it'll give, oh. you, a, it'll give you another... It'll give you another 10, 10 to your uh, chest. Ch okay, cool. If you were right. to hold it. Yeah, I'm gonna hold it. Uh, yes, I'm just holding it in front of me. So I, I find I find the uh, manual override lever on the wall, and I pull well, on it, and the uh, door springs open, right? Well, no. Uh, no. I'll tell you. Okay. So you're looking for anything to open this with tech use. You know for certain this blast door is anti-boarding blast doors. So there's Ooh. you're gonna have to blow this door, 
analyzing what's going on. You're going to have to blow this door open somehow, like you did before. All right, so I have... I, I, okay, so I relay this information, and um, I'm also carrying a, let's see, carrying three melta bombs. I have two Kraken missiles on me. Still. Right, and as as you guys are also doing that, you guys hear like a door coming down. Behind, Behind us? Oh, guys. shit. Well, it looks like the only way out is through, brothers. Yes, so what will you make a bomb out of? A Kraken missile or a melta bomb? Or well, perhaps Kraken grenades? I think... I think we're saving the melta bombs, so unless we get too awesome to use syndrome, uh, I could use one of those on the yep. door to open it. And the door slams shut behind you guys. Just blow up the door. Just blow up the door. We need to get out. All right. Yeah, you get out. You guys are now almost trapped. Moth can move around. I'm going to lay the uh, charges for the melta bomb. What's the modifier on that? All right, everyone move back. Plus 20? Plus 20? All right. Oh, oh, oh. all right. Good thing I hey, succeeded. Put, yeah, you put them in key locations around around this blast thrower, and you know for certain this will drop this door down. My melted bomb You guys have a, a surprise round as soon as you blast this door. <gasps> nice. As Moss, Moss, I'm sure you're relaying everything you're seeing. Yep. Yeah, you see the Eldar still, like, frantically putting this gun, uh, assembling it. You see the guardsmen, like, uh, putting up, like, barricades. You see, um, oop. You start to see... Remember that you have extra movement, too, since I should yeah, have that active. Yes, so my intention for this encounter is to act like a cover, so yep. that you can guys stand behind me if need be. You see that, Moth? Yep, yep. Reinforcements from the east. Yep, and they're bringing another void rifle. Uh, do I need to this hold is the, the shield? Only way to go through. Uh, question: Do I need to hold the shield with both of my hands, or can I hold it with my, one, one of my hands? You can hold one. It's it's to you. It's tiny. You can hold one. Okay. okay yeah, cool. it's like a, it's like a shield shield to you. To guardsmen, mm -hmm. it's like a a uh, barrier. Dominego, the charges are set and ready to detonate on your word. Detonated ten seconds ago. Yep. Okay. You gonna blow the doors then? Yep. Mm -hmm. I hit the button and uh, door I'm goes boom. Flies off the hinges or not hinges, but whatever it is. All these guys I'm, are. Can, can the fly? Can that door just fly off and hit it, someone? It, <laughs> no, it it, it, killed, it killed about eight guardsmen. <laughs> okay, is, is the whole door gone, or is it like a portion of it gone? How big? Is no, the no. Gone? He set up the charges just right where it blew the whole door. Forward. Team down. Yep. Blue I'm forward assuming eight you're guards and killed them. Now, now too. Now we have oh, a so nice round. Perfect. Yep. All right. So I can go first. I will go first, just to set up like a like a, a cover thing. Can I can I throw my psychic power in there? Yes. yes. You're, you're, yeah. I want to, we'll like for you to go first before yeah. we charge in and get I'll hit do, by a psychic shark. I'll do my uh, my free. Ten foot move there. And then, because I don't know how well the uh, Eldar resisting crap, I'm going to unfettered Oh. Psychic blast into there. Okay. Unfettered. It should be interesting. Oh my god, they're going to die! It's <laughs> not double. Uh, because it's unfettered, and... Uh, I'm going to do like two dice per degree of success instead of one die per degree of success. Wait. Well, it's better. So that's two, four, six. Is that how much damage you're doing? Yep. Yeah, they're all dead. In a 20 meter radius. Oh, cool. Yeah, the 20 meters? Okay. So everyone in 20 meter radius is dead from that center. So. Yeah, we'll count that guy too. There, all those guys you just seem drop dead. Uh, go ahead, and describe it since you're doing the little shark thing, right? 
Uh, no, this is just this, this is just my librarians doing a uh, psychic bolt. You oh God! Describe yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, you just see a volley of psychic bolts light up into um, well, the horde, the center horde, uh, and a strange, colorless but yet very colorful explosions explode into, in the midst of all of them, rending them limb from limb. Others just heads oh. just explode, and it's chaos. It's pure chaos, because that's what psychic powers are. No, it's pure right. Imperium. We're not and chaos. I, and I think I saw a rainbow somewhere in between. <laughs> Very possibly. Double rainbow, rainbow all the way. Somebody. Oh, what does it mean? I guess no. friendship is magic. <sighs> oh, my God. When you work in unison, it absolutely is. That reminds right. me of some very cursed uh, MLP and Warhammer 40k crossovers. Oh, cool. Good. Alright, I, I made a free move. Okay. And I fire the heavy bolter on these group of folks. Friendship is magic. Magic is heresy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, I like Any that one. <laughs> uh, plus 20 since you're so close. Half range. Status plus 60 since I have a base of 40. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> Still got him. So it's four guys dead? Yeah. I do see plus 10 as well. I right. could, could also roll. Yep. 4d10. Yep. Yeah, do all that. I think they're probably all dead. First one gains additional for uh Yeah the guy's damage. Actually, Yeah the guy's or, actually, or, Yeah, he's actually dead. <laughs> and I can roll again. Yep. Okay. Boom, dead. I gotta go to the bathroom and be right back. Alright. Oh. Damn. It's our GM uh, goes to take a leak. The entire ship gets an oil change. <laughs> <laughs> or I'm one ready. of the asteroids hits the ship, rocking the ship. Yeah. Fuck it, Steve bio breaks. Sounds, everybody goes for lunch. I'm gonna get some yeah, more yeah, coffee. Yeah. Ooh, good idea. Coffee is always a good idea, Moth. That's you know true. it. All right. Who's next? I'm back. I'm also, Moth is AFK. We both went to get coffee. Okay. I guess I'll go next, because I haven't done anything. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, you blew the doors open. Oh, yeah, true. I did blow the doors open. So, be Karna. Uh, I'll let Moth do the turn before. Okay, when he gets back. Mm-hmm. In that case, I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna get my cheese that ages a year. Yellow mug, by the way, making homemade cheese. Amazing. Uh, have you ever made homemade cheddar? Cheddar cheddar what kind of cheese? Nope. Cheddar. Oh. Cheddar. Yeah, but it came out a little harder than I like. But hey, it was good. It's like, oh, this is a really good firm cheese. Uh, next cheese. I'm 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 gonna get a fridge and just start doing cheese every month. So, Boko, have you ever uh, had Dubliner cheese? No. It is so good. If you like hard cheese, you'll love Dubliner. It's incredible. Yeah. It's very very savory. Yeah, mine is super savory. I'll be right back. But it's very earthy and nutty too. That's what I like. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. But age one year too. 
So does aging cool. cheese make it better? Is that how that works? Yeah. It's a sharpness. Gotcha. There's a cheddar. There's a cheddar that someone they forgot about it in the back of the store. It was aged thirty nine years. It wasn't all moldy. Mold thirty nine year old coffee? Gross, also back. Cheese. 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 Oh, that's worse. Mm mm. Cheese is nasty. We can it can cheese. be. Cheese gets moldy. It's one of the most disgusting things in the universe. Cobra, that's just cheese, period. No, cheese is, cheese is not mold. It, it's more or less mold. Oh, my God. We're going to have it's this conversation again. It's spoiled fucking milk. It's gross. We're really going to have this debate again? For context... Humans are nasty fucking creatures, and we eat all sorts of spoiled bullshit. Anyways... I aged, uh, I made an aged cheddar for a year, or milk, like you said, moth. It's delicious. Cheese is not mold. End of story. If you want proof, go look at the Wikipedia article. That's all I have to say. Anyway, okay, some yeah. cheeses have mold in it. Yeah, like blue. Uh, okay, blue. I will concede to that, but that doesn't also. Okay, some cheese may be mold, but not all mold is cheese true you are a ski instructor therefore you have a job you're not a ski instructor therefore you do not have a job that's basically what you're implying by saying all cheese is mold all right fine let me correct myself cheese is spoiled uh <laughs> yes yes it is actually and yes. so are people who eat really good cheese all right mm -hmm. so is alcohol <laughs> mm-hmm yep i'm back i'm actually gonna be making some wine too Mm -hmm. Homemade wine as well. Homemade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, that's fancy. We're allowed 255 gallons homemade per year. Something like that. Oh, yeah, Moth. Um, I know what it is. 255? Something like that. There's a lot. Yeah. You can make 255 gallons of wine per year. For your, that's base know, two friendly, dude. Personal use. <laughs> yeah, it's power of two minus one. It's base two friendly. Or is it 250? No, it's, no, it's 256. It's one off. Dang it. The only kind no, of wine no. I enjoy is mead, and the only kind of alcohol I enjoy is mead. Technically, yeah, dude... Not basic beers. Technically, dude, uh, binary can do powers of two minus one, if you count zero, which you would in the computing sense. So 255 is friendly, 256 is not. That's why the 256 level of Pac-Man is the kill screen. Anyways... Okay. Cheese good. Cheese good. It sucks. it sucks I have to eat this piece of cheese. I won't get any more for another whole year. Cheese good and all cheese being molded is a non sequitur. There you go. So you used to have license to make more than 255 gallons of wine? You have, you have to have a commercial license because you're then selling it. But yeah, um, you can make as much. Basically, that's enough wine to do whatever you want with. You can look at the laws. Every, every state's different. Sometimes it's 75 gallons, whatever. Right, but yeah, it's a very you can make as much as it number. takes for one person to consume in a year. Right, it's a anything very more is selling. It's a very specific number, so I'm wondering if a computer made up the law. No, no. <laughs> I know. I'm just joking. It'd be hilarious, though. It would be. I mean, if ChatGPT takes over the pol politics. <laughs> oh God. Honestly, if Chad GPT takes over politics, it'll probably put every one of the politicians to shame. Um, have you not seen Biden? Chad GPT <laughs> already did that. <laughs> uh, fuck Joe Biden. By the way, um, anyone watching this uh, video on YouTube, if you vote I'm Biden, not an, you're an idiot. Yeah, Thanks. I'm not an I'm not an apolitical channel, and um, I will say that. Uh, Biden is a disappointment, and I'm glad that there's bipartisan agreements on that front. That's all I have to say about it. Fuck there Biden. Is. This is a political channel, but... But... <laughs> no, I, I legitimately said this is not an apolitical channel. My channel? <laughs> Very apolitical. I talk politics, but I also talk out of my ass, and so does everyone else who no, talks I, politics. I don't find it. I'm not going to ban him, but... Saying, no, yeah. I, I mean my YouTube channel specifically that this video oh. is going to go up on. 
or already is up on. Oh, right, 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 right. That channel. Yeah, that channel. Mm -hmm. It's not a political, like, if you Don't really worry, want YouTube's to. YouTube's already flagged you immediately when we said the F word immediately. <laughs> right. Oh, I mean, no, you cussed. Ah! Fuck YouTube. Um, YouTube can suck my dick, so can everyone who works at YouTube, because you're all assholes. Boom, got him. That's right. Moving on. Ooh. Moving Guess on. Ad revenue, goodbye. I, you, my YouTube channel's a hobby. I don't give two fucks about ad revenue. Anyway, continue. <laughs> YouTube in fact, people in the background are just going, Oh my god, but why do you even have a YouTube channel then? Oh. In <laughs> fact. <laughs> for the money, why? Yeah, exactly. In fact, I'm actually planning to release a YouTube video that shows people how to screw over YouTube for their benefit, namely installing an ad blocker and doing uh, the YouTube sponsor block and also return YouTube dislike. Yep. I I'm going to have a video tutorial on that, even though I hate video tutorials, but it's literally a tutorial about YouTube, so might as well put it on YouTube, right? Anyway. Them removing the dislike button was really weird to me. Well, they what? did it specifically they because... They didn't technically do that. They just hid the ability for normal people to look at it. The return YouTube dislike feature is like... Um, it's open source, so you can like look at the source code on GitHub. I don't know 100% how it works, but they did remove the um, the ability to like record the dislike. But it still averages. There's some kind of like heuristic that Return YouTube dislike does to average how many dislikes are on a video, unless from it came out I, before they removed the dislike the, button. The dislike button. It's still tracked on the owner's channel, yep. and yes. it is tracked on the page of the video. Yes. So all you need to do is be able to find that information. Yes, true. And that's what the return dislike does. I don't so know. So it's still all tracked and there. Yeah, I understand. Just the normal person can't see it. I understand, but what I'm saying is I don't know the specifics of how return YouTube dislike works. It might be that. It might just recover hidden data, but... I think on the website itself, it actually says that um, it does a heuristic because it can't access that data for whatever reason. So I don't know. Yeah, it's because you're not the channel owner. Either way, YouTube removing the dislike button was... It's less that they removed it, it's more that they censored it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Censorship. Blame. All oh, censorship is bad. I'm a libertarian, so I think all censorship is bad. It shouldn't exist. Fuck the government. Anyway, let's continue. Uh, who's who's the kids? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Uh, what? Moff, Moff Stern. Oh, it's always sorry. children fallacy. <laughs> anyway. Okay. So I guess a question for Boko then, since I can see that. Are the dudes carrying the void cannon, or are they plugged into the void cannon? What? Well, Over here. Void yeah, horror no, rifle. Yeah, it's another one. This one looks um, slightly different than the other ones. They're actually rolling it on tri um, like wheels. Is there a guy plugged into it, or are they just moving it? Just moving it. I shoot them all. Okay. You ready to throw the necklace again? You're yeah, trying yeah, to shoot I'm, them all. I'm. See now. Okay, I'm trying to determine: is there somebody plugged into this in that group? that will blow up the rifle if I kill them. <laughs> no. You don't see that. Oh. This one looks slightly different. But it looks okay. similar to the other one you saw. So I'm trying to carefully avoid shooting the rifle then. But still shoot everybody else around it. Got it. Alright. No. Oh. oh, they're all dead. <laughs> nice. You just see them drop. Boom, 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 boom. And the weapon intact. Nice. Yeah, it just sits there. 
Oh. Oh, we could use it for ourselves. Potentially. Potentially. But that also might be heresy because it's a void weapon. No, mm -hmm. void weapons I'm are an inquisitor. Very void I'm an inquisitor are agent. Weapons. I don't care. <laughs> oh, so true. <laughs> That <laughs> void tell. weapons are historically Imperium, so using a void weapon would not be heretical in any right, way. Gotcha, form. gotcha. It's but ancient would text. you know that? I mean, certain chapter masters uh, had void, like, melee weapons. Right. Um, th it's not, like, super, it's not like it's a hidden knowledge or something. It's I'd just imagine it comes planet-based for that to be heresy or not. Because I doubt a high-tech world would care versus a low-tech world would be like, fuck you. Uh, I don't know what that is. Don't fuck yeah, you. some backwater Bible Belt low-tech world in the mm -hmm. boonies. Well, at that point, Space Marine armor is heresy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, like, those worlds don't count. <laughs> For the grand majority of the mater mater uh, Imperium, void weapons are just ancient tech uh, they're relics of the past. You also got to think we're Death Watch Marines, so we're elite Space Marines. We've seen some shit. Also, True. Death Watch Marines uh, use Xenos weapons on the regular. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Cool. So uh, we can use what's it. What's next? Moff, can you uh, ping the location of that void weapon? Because it's I can't, over there I can't. somewhere. Yep. All right. Uh, the only heresy would be also, if it was a chaos also, weapon. You would know because I'm rating you. This room over here is full of like 10 or 15 guys. Okay, Which cool. room? Right over here. Uh, ping it once again. I didn't see, oh, yeah. that room. I'm just yeah. constantly pinging it. Oh, yeah, yeah, this, it. This is just a huge amount of people. Okay. Yeah, you see them exploring see. whatever's going on in that room and you see them just tinkering with, with uh, <laughs> going around here. Gotcha. They're messing with something in that room, too. What kind of something are they messing with, brother? It's big and bulbous and looks like an engine. I don't know. Did you try turning it an off engineer. and on again? I'm in a vent. What are you talking about? Is it plugged in? <laughs> All right. Uh, All right, go. I'll just full move. That's it. Just shoot up. Just, uh... Anything that's behind me will get a cover bonus. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna fall in behind Karnoff. You see these guardsmen just kind of like, uh, get on their knees and raise their hands up. Hmm. Uh -oh. Suiciders! If they do that, then... Um, I, can, I just continue moving. They, 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 Everything here before. is tainted. And, and, and um, some people before, when we breached in earlier... They surrendered, yet they still attacked. Yeah, I'm aware. That happened? Yeah. Yep. Okay. I don't remember that, but I'm sure you're right. Last left, top left corner room. It's how Kurnoff got the critical damage, I think. No, no, no that was the void weapon. Yep. That was the void weapon. Sure. It was when I was... The crack grenades didn't touch his, his armor. A chaotic <laughs> void weapon, I should say. Hmm. Keep in mind, everything here is possessed and tainted, including the weapons. Yes. That void rifle could be a trap. It could be. You just, you hear them say, save us, save us. My turn has ended. Do we do initiative now? No, you guys can move around. Oh, we can just move around. Okay, then. Uh, Tess, do you want to kill them? Or do you want to continue? I would like to kill them. To because okay. uh, my um, chapter demeanor... It, or not chapter demeanor. Whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah, it is chapter demeanor. My chapter Game demeanor coming. is iron and hate. And I now have... Uh, two points of insanity, so I'm going to start looking at guardsmen as being weaklings now and uh, wanting to kill them. <laughs> and uh, Yelma, your, cur your amulet picks that thing up too. The one that's stealth. Well, it's better than trying to spank them. Cool. Yeah, true. Well, then if uh, these fools are just going to 
not do anything. I'm going to take my first step forward. All and right. just blast that area. I'm going to fire right. on these uh, guardsmen in front of me in full auto. Right. Uh, right, right here. So, and that's one, what, two hits? Yeah, although one of them says, we can lead you to it. Too bad. <laughs> yeah, too bad. I already splattered uh, maybe two of these guys. Yeah. So I guess two of them are dead. <laughs> that might change the minds of the other guys. Oh, I guess oh, not. Actually, we, you you know what we can do? We can use them as, uh, like, to check, to check for traps, as, like, meat, uh, what is it? Meat fodder. Ooh, ooh! Tie both of them to your shield, they'll count as more armor, right? <laughs> what is this Borderlands shit? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and then, uh, Yelma, go ahead and do your attack. Or, you already uh, did. Hang on, yeah, I was trying to do... Oh, this dice roller doesn't let you just click it and set the number of dice anymore. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, well... What, the, um, the advanced, uh, advanced roll? Oh, shit. Whoops. Uh, There's an advanced roller. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, no, that's better. Okay, alright. Uh, so that's 90 of these. Boom. 56 okay. damage to here. <laughs> that is that is dead, and this guard thing seemed to disintegrate. He just disappeared, guys. <laughs> he it was never there. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, uh, Yo Mug, you don't need to do curly braces on that. You can just do roll 90 10. Uh, I'm using the dice roller thing, so I just click a button and it does it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that works. Yeah, I didn't type in anything. Got it. Yeah, you can just do this as well. Uh, oh, it doesn't show, but yeah, just. Put a number, but you know, whatever, whatever. No, it shows everything. It just lacks the curly braces if you do it in chat. That's all. All right, who's moves next? Next. I, I just moved to frame move, and can I see these guys? <clears throat> Probably. No. They're they're Probably. on their hands surrendering. They're saying they're telling uh, the tech marine that he can lead him to the entity. Spare us. So, spare us. So I uh, I turn around and shout back to our squad leader. These guardsmen are saying they can lead us to the void entity. Should we spare them? Spare who? They're going to be dead in a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you think, brother. And, and Moth, are you watching them or are you watching what these guys are doing? I'm watching the dudes in the other room. Okay, so you see them... Uh, basically coming around chanting around this thing. Another biggest thing is they, they said Sparrows, we can lead to you the god. They're not talking about god of emperor. So they're already Church. tamed. Yeah, they, they are. can lead us to a trap, so there's no point. They so they're sitting around this thing in this other room praying to it? Yep. Then again, you can just like fill them and, like and, sticks and traps yeah, and see uh, if they didn't do You see them mm -hmm. doing something else. Uh, plus 10. Well, All if right. they're chanting, it's up to no good. So, you know. But do they solemnly swear they're up to no good? Mm. There you go. Uh, you see, Harry Potter see them taking like their combat knives, slitting their wrists, and then smearing like uh, weird markings all over this thing. Ooh. Chanting. You might want to throw a grenade. Ooh, they are super heretics over here, guys. <laughs> you should probably take them out. Super heretics. Are they right. uh, dancing and... around something? No. Oh, they're you smearing know... their blood on this something. They're dancing around. You should around probably stop that if you can. <laughs> yeah, right, I'm just going to shoot them. Yeah, and as you're about to do that, you see something pounding from the inside of this tank. Pound, pound. Like big fists. see big fist imprints coming out of this. Ooh. You're gonna, uh, oh. you're shooting? Right, so these are heretics then? Is One that a question? Assume? I think you I have hatred of heretics, so it, it oh, does. Okay. The answer is yes. If they're just putting their blood on stuff, yeah, yeah. but Moth chanting, is, Moth is saying heretics. he has hatred of heretics, so he's asking the GM if they're heretics. Oh, yeah. 
You can tell that they're heretics. Oh, good. Okay. So my weapons are considered proven three and holy against them. Ooh. Ooh. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Do your damage. And as, yeah, That's and as lot. you're killing them, yeah, as you're killing them, you they don't the rest of them don't move an inch. You just see them kind of like pull out their grenades, stick in their mouths, pull the pin. The rest of them drop dead. Oh, Damn. yeah. You I see this thing. to spawn an entity by doing that. Yep, and you see this thing bust out. What is it? You you aware this Xenos? Do we need checks on it? Um, I don't have Xenos lore. No. I guess I'll just look at it. You'll look at it and relay the Xenos. information it's, and describe it to the rest of the kill team. It's very similar to that Hive Tyrant you fought in that first mission. Very similar, but it's like tentacly chaotic. It doesn't look the same. Oh. It's, it's a very different. You're able to discern possibly. Possibly is a hive tyrant from the. I wasn't in that mission. Yeah, true. Oh, you were. That's right, you weren't. I was going to say that. But you know what a hive tyrant is, so you can describe that to it. Uh, uh, I don't think I do know what a hive tyrant looks like. Really? Okay, so you describe. I've seen no Okay, so you describe to them big giant monster, big bulging. Big giant uh, monster with tentacles. And biceps and really chaotic Xeno. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh boy. Wait, four arms. The first. Oh, oh, the first mission. Yeah, the very first. Oh, that, mission. that 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 super boss at the end. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Again. Oh no. Okay. <clears throat> well, if it looks chaotic in nature, technically, cyborgs should be able to hurt it more. Oh yeah. So yeah, I'm just standing here. I, I don't, I don't even see it. It's no, not... you don't. See him, but he's relaying the information back that some big monstrous thing popped out. Yeah, I'm just. Uh, I guess I can stand here. What do you want me to you do, guys, guys? You guys can move around, and set up, because it's it's just it's kind of like just looking around, and it's kind of like devouring all those people that just died. I I recommend somebody go grab that void rifle. We might need it. Where? Oh, that one. Okay. So let's see. Uh, can someone make a line who's, who's uh, next? from my position? Who's, who's and... next turn? We don't have an initiative. Freely. No, no, you guys move freely. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you... you guys have time to set up? It's still devouring. Uh, you guys have about 20 seconds. If I use my jetpack, I can get in and get out with the void rifle. Yeah, for or you. Or we you can, can just look up to it. You can just pick it up. It's, to you, it's just like a standard rifle. Yeah, we're not we're not in a turn order at the moment. Right. In fact, yep. when you uh, are not, are you picking it up yourself, or who's getting it first? Who is? I don't know. I'm. Um, if it's we're, if someone's going to shoot, I'm not good with ballistics. So who's, who's good with ballistics? Well, who's? Let's just take care of these two guardsmen first. So punch them. I don't know. Do whatever you yeah, want. Yeah, walk up, break their necks. What are you doing? Yeah. Just let, let me. Uh, boom. One's dead. <laughs> you punched him. In the face. Boom, I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> cool. What are you thinking about what they want to do with this thing? I want to push the limit and uh, second bolt uh, this guy. Oh, the big guy? Yeah, with my squad of my squadron of librarians, I'm going to push the limit and shoot this guy. Okay. I will get. Limit. While you're doing I, that, I recommend I'll... everybody get away from me. Okay. How far away from it? No, from yeah. the librarian squad. Yeah, I'm going to move up to here, and I'm going to push the limit and uh, psychic bolt the shit out of this guy. Uh, now, when I push the limit, it guarantees I have to roll on the chart. Oh. Hmm. You should probably let somebody grab that void rifle before you do that, then. Uh, I'll no, just pick it up. Just, just hurry up, pick it up, run back. Yeah. Oh. 
As you pick it uh, up, you can tell that this is a Space Marine variant. Oh. Of some sort that they plan it oh. on. To, so it was like a makeshift weapon. Can I pick it up with one hand? Just yeah. just pick it up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. It's, like, it's like your standard bolter rifle. So okay. you can pick it up with one hand if you wanted to. Let's place it right here and set it up and get ready yeah. to aim. No, it's like a standard sized weapon, it's just large for the yeah. Space Marines, so they had to mount it on a tripod. But we can just pick it up. Because it's Space Marine yeah. sized. Anyway. I can't, I can't move the token, but like, yeah, I'll put it uh, underneath where I am at the moment. Alright. Nice. Oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> so, hey. because I'm pushing the limit, roll. I figure three dice per uh, degree of success makes sense. If yep. fettered is one, unfettered is two, Pushing the limit is three, so that's, uh, what, 24, 24. dice? Yep. 24 dice. Holy shit. Is there a downside to this? Well, it's the downside is... Roll, I Does have armor roll absorb? Chart. Does, it gets absorbed by armor, right? Or no? uh, it'll have an armor pin of six. Okay. So he has armor of 20. Okay. Oh. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's so nice 120 that has, uh, damage then? Oh, uh, but I did get a 10 on the damage roll, so that's technically another roll. Yeah, there's actually mm. three of them, oh actually. Mm -hmm. Oh, it no. Fell. Well, you got two more. Fails oh, no, 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 that's, that's one damage roll. Like, we're doing this as, like, one attack. All right, you were confirming? Okay. Yeah, th that that attack Wait. was the, uh, the, the Righteous Fury that I missed. You don't need to confirm uh, Righteous Fury on a Xeno. Oh, that's right. Fury. It is a Xenos. That's right. Ooh, I do just get it. to do this again. Oh, my yeah. God. It's a Xeno, though. And hey, then look. this again, and 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 this again. I think it's dead. How much damage? Uh, keep in mind, keep mind, every time you roll, you might have to roll on that chart. So maybe tone no. it down a little. No. So, uh, righteous Fury, uh, any Righteous Fury's rolls does not trigger additional... Rolls on the chart. Oh I'll be right my back. god. Go ahead and calculate the damage and give me the total, and then I'll subtract it from its health. I'll be right okay. back, guys. It's approximately like 1,000 like damage, because you can just keep rolling 10s. It's well over 1,000 at this point. Like, you can just keep rolling for every single He'll just time. keep rolling until he stops getting a 10. Yeah, that's so basically that's gonna be, There it is. There it is. There it is. Calculate all, right. all the damage. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, <laughs> twenty. So two thousand <coughs> damage, and that's before I've added the tens column. Yep. Yeah. It 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 it, it explodes. It only had cool. fifteen hundred health, though. So. Oh my oh, god! Well, it's a good thing I did this shit. <laughs> it only had fifteen hundred guys. Don't worry. Like, it only had 1,500 health. <laughs> yeah. Good okay, shit. now I do have to roll on the chart. Oh, you do? Yeah. Uh-oh. For how many people failed? No, 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 no. It's no, not no, how many it's people just... failed. It's just I yeah. pushed it. Yeah, so he you automatically have to has to roll. roll. A 68 is pretty high. I, I didn't get yep. the terrible chart, though, which is good. All right, what did you if get? I had rolled a 75 or higher there, I would then have to roll did all your guys awful hang on. chart. Hang on, did what page guys... is the chart on, Yo Mug? Uh, hang on, I'm, I'm finding it. All right. Uh, Perils of the Warp is uh, 187 in the in the thing, so a 68. Shadows of Warp, for a split second, the world changes in appearance, and everyone within D100 meters of the Psyker has a mercifully brief glimpse of the Shadow of the Warp. Makes sense, I just attacked a, uh, uh, a Hive Tyrant. Hive Tyrant? Um, chaotic Hive Tyrant. Everyone in the area, including all the Psychers, must make a difficulty minus 10 willpower test, or gain 1d5 insanity. Ooh. We have a plus 30 thing, which is a uh, psychic did, ability. Question. It, is, it is, yeah. Question, did all you guys uh, do the attack? Yeah, that, that's that's why and it that, was the thing. And all, and they all did push the limits? Yeah. Okay, so you got seven more, I guess. Or, yeah. We could, or we could just combine it into this and just make it a terrible willpower test. For eight times, people? Nah, just do seven more times. Let's Are we far it. away okay. enough? Yeah, so you have so to roll a 1v100, it looks like. Yeah, just do it. Just seven how more far times. Away it affects. Let's see what kind of chaos you brought upon yourself. 
Yikes. All right. So, three of those has to roll on the god-awful table. Oh, there's a 97. Uh-oh. Oh. Well, there's three. Uh, the 83, the 86, and the 97 has to roll on the terrible table. Ah. Um, <laughs> before that, though, uh, I'm, you're, you're, 63 you're, 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 is I'm the rolls. <laughs> I'm assuming your guy is still uh, focusing on that amulet. Yes. Okay, that's why. I thought. No, this is my squad. That's why you're pushing limits. As well. Yeah. Uh, the Furies, the Psyker is assaulted by unseen horrors. He is slammed to the ground and suffers 25 wounds in damage. Toughness protects, but armor, unless warded, does not. The Psyker must then test for fear. Cool. So that only affects the si that one Psyker. The 197? Uh, no, the 63 and the 62. Nope. I'm sorry. The 63, uh, he just hurts himself. The 68, everybody in the area, uh, the area around me. Has to make a uh, fear check or a will check, or otherwise takes 1d5 insanity damage. I think you uh, have to roll points. a d100 to determine how far away that affects. Uh, yeah, I do, I do. I'm just going through the list uh, at the moment. The 62 is Banshee Hal. She'll training ring uh, rings out across. We probably the should area. write this down first. So how yeah. about I just do everything uh, one at a time? <laughs> yeah, please do. Yeah, please do. that's a good idea. Right. So the first one, 68, the Shadow of the Warp. Uh, everyone within. 79 meters of me. Everyone. Well, everyone within 79 meters of guy number five. Which is still everybody. Guy. It's still everybody. Yeah. Okay. okay. Everybody has to make a willpower minus 10 test. But we do get that nice plus 30 from... Uh... Yes. Also... So Plus I'm going to do one other thing here real quick while you're doing that. Uh, By the way, oh no. your, your amulet started to, to glow real heavily. Never mind, that failed. <laughs> well, I have four insanity now. Oh, I survived. Oh, god damn. <laughs> oh. Yikes. <laughs> So yeah, so your after, awesome. yeah. After that happened, your amulet yeah, started to glow real heavily. Yeah, oh like, shit, those were kind of thirty. Figured, yeah. yeah. Oh well, neither of them want to succeed with the thirty anyway. Oh, it was a plus thirty. Okay. I failed even with plus those. twenty. Do you want to use size hands on the amulet? No, it's because it's originally minus ten, dude. That's the base. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's originally minus 10, so it's the base willpower. So it would be plus... Oh my god, there's so many rolls happening. Plus, plus 20. You get well, plus I gotta 20. make a, a roll for all my guys. Yeah, true. He does. Um, my, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more for me. Uh, so only two of my psychers, uh fell, so two of my psychers get... Uh, what was it 1D, 1D5? 1D5. Yeah, 1D5. So your amulet's glowing a bright orange this time. One and four. Orange cool. is blue. Orange is blue. As is all it's happening. Number eight and six. Cool, cool, cool. Oh boy. Okay, plus, you know, all you guys need to make that that roll as well, if you haven't already. I already made the roll, and I had to roll 1d5 <laughs> and add 2 insanity, so now I'm up to 4 insanity. Mm-hmm. Which is not ideal. Especially uh, if I want to fulfill my dreams of becoming a dreadnought. <laughs> uh, looks like Rosoro also needs to make uh, or get, receive 1d5. I five point, and rolled, got a 3.9. Okay. Alright. So, are you going to use size hands on your amulet? Well, let me go through all the freaking uh, perils first. Well, I was going to... This is interrupting that, so you can... Oh, is it? Okay. Yes, that then, happened right after that first one triggered. Uh, then I will do uh, sign science on it. 
Any any modifiers onto this? Uh, what was your willpower check on on this? It's not. It's not a science. It's perception, not willpower. Okay, it's not willpower check. Okay, uh, minus ten. Uh, I succeeded. Sweet. <clears throat> uh, you're able to discern that if you focus hard enough and destroy the amulet, you can stop all this. It would destroy the amulet, though. <clears throat> yeah, but what fun would that be? Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, so, right. <laughs> that's an option that I mean, your character now knows it can do it. But anyways, so carry on. Uh, I should probably do it because... Um... I do have three rolls in the greater table. How right. bad can it truly be, though? Right. I can so summon a demon prince. How yes. bad can it truly be? We I have can summon a demon prince. A hole in the world. <laughs> That's yeah. just the name of one of them, by the way. Yeah, but we'll just the reality that. quake. And then your something protection. is coming. Dot dot yeah. dot. And your protection from yeah, and your protection from all the warp entity stuff, you'll lose it. So. Yeah, but it's three rolls on the on the big perils table. True. It's three rolls on the the psyker immediately and irrevocably is destroyed, uh, and there's a fifty percent chance a demon prince just appears in his place, and then yeah. like a ten percent chance uh, a demon prince just shows up anyway. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there's a chance you just get chronological incontinence. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I guess there's that. Uh, I mean, you know what? It, I'll, I'll put it up to you guys. Do you want me to destroy this and, and uh, no more further rolls on the work tables? Or do y'all just uh, want to see what happens? YOLO. Dude, let's Let fuck around happens. and find out. We're supposed yeah. to have fun. You gotta generate good stories. With let's hope shit. for a 68 to 72. That's just blood rain. Okay. <laughs> How about well, some it's, giving right. <laughs> It sounds like I'm rolling on, on the charts. Fuck okay. yeah, let's so do it. That was the first one. All right, so uh, you know what, while that's more happening, to go? yes, and and, and, and you three can, of those are on the big bad chart. And just so you know, you can just try that amulet at any time during uh, each of these checks. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, All so right. I, I would like to pick up the rifle and move back before uh, you move or do anything the... else. All the other psychic phenomenon have to happen. Yep, true. Fuck. Okay, whatever. That was an instantaneous <laughs> thing. Now yeah. hang on. What like does all the these are happening have at the same do... time? Hang on. What does the amulet have to do with the price of cheese on the moon? Because Boko just said that we can destroy it at any time. Yeah. That's basically every every one of these that hits, I can destroy it, and all the future ones don't matter. Ah, right. okay. But it doesn't well, mean that you guys get turns and actions while this is happening. Right. It's, this is All these are happening Simultaneous. immediately. Yep, yeah. yep. I'll just kick back and relax, I guess. <laughs> uh, but anyone who hasn't made that willpower minus 10 check uh, needs to go ahead and do so. I think we already we did, did. So yeah. everyone did? Yep. Yeah, I, I, I only... I only... Okay. Gotcha. Cool. All right. So the next one is hurting uh, my own tube. Uh, 63. He takes 1d5 wounds and damage. Toughness protects. So if I get a 4 or less, I take no damage. But then he has to test against fear. Good luck. May the odds ever be in your favor. Uh, hell yeah. Hit the back button. <laughs> nice. Hang on. Hang on. Be sure to swap to your character. Yeah. I will be right back. Three. Cool. Alright, so he doesn't take any damage. But he has to make a fear check. Oh boy. Uh, don't we get a bonus against fear checks? Or Moth's character or something? Uh, Moth is AFK. No. Yeah. It's only psychic abilities and immune to possession. Uh, he himself, okay. if you're looking at him. Oh, I have inspired. Nah, I'd have to redo inspire. So we'll just. Yeah, he succeeds. He's fine. Yeah. Alright, cool. What's the next one? Uh, 62. All right. <clears throat> Set on the uh, big table or the regular one? It's the regular table. All right. 
Banshee uh, Howl. A shrill keening rings out across the immediate area, shattering glass and forcing every mortal creature able to hear it uh, to make a challenging zero toughness test or be deafened for 1d10 rounds. Well, we're not in combat, so... Yes, this one um, may not really matter too much, unless something's going to happen in 1d10 yeah, rounds. Yeah, unless Boca wants to modify <laughs> this. I mean, you know, he says Shatter's Glass? Yeah. Shattered glass, force every mortal creature able to hear it, including. It's just the fighter. immediate area, though, so. So well, your visors. Are, are immediate. Right, so your visors, they start to crack. Crack, oh. but not shatter, because they're not made of glass. Right. Cool. Alright, uh. So yeah. God, alright. Mine is tended to awareness check now. The helmet's on. For visual So awareness. it's, so it's mm -hmm. plus 10 yeah. now. Okay, uh, the next one is on the big boy chart. Let's see here. By the way, my PDF renderer is so slow today. I don't know why it's so slow. 63. Mm. All right. I only roll Shit. big rolls, apparently. <sighs> Sorry, at least Rending you're not the recording, dude. Mm -hmm. Rending the veil. The air vibrates with images of cackling demons and the kaleidoscope taint of the warp is... Rendered visible. All sentient creatures, including the Psyker, within 1d 100 meters of the Psyker must test against fear, level 3. Okay. Uh, and the effect of that fear lasts for 1d 5 hours. Hours. Oh, no, no, no. Not, not the Rounds. effect of the fear. The effect of the warp just being visible in 1d 100 meters of me will be there for 1d 5 rounds. Oh, shit. So everyone has to make a... Uh, a will test. Hang on. Let me let me roll D one hundred to fast. Yep, everybody, point. everybody has to make a will. Can we do a fail on that? I have to do what now? Uh, it's a three. Three or three is a minus twenty to the test. Yeah, but it's it's just a willpower test. It's not like uh, oh. crazy nonsense. Oh no! A willpower and minus twenty. Is Most that technically a psychic ability, or is it oh, just... Oh, no. Is that technically it's, a psychic it's, ability? No, because happening? it's... You're seeing the the true... The trueness the, of the warp. The true nature, alrighty. Yeah. I'm back with a miss. Uh, you I'm have dead. to make a willpower test minus 20. Uh, it's a fear test. Oh, oh, I'm I'm because we've all missed. seen the warp now. I am I immune to the effects of fear. Ah, cool. Wow. Yeah. Okay then. I know, right? <clears throat> that that did take a lot to get though. Yeah, I bet. All right. Uh, I'll let everybody roll theirs before I roll all eight of my other guys. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I hear Boko's evil laugh. It's a GM. Well, oh, he did his. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's painful. That is potentially a death. <laughs> is it really? If he rolls a hundred, it is a death. Oh, well, it's not a death. It, well, he has to make another test after that, but it is potentially Panic a death. Panic grips the character. He must flee the source of his fear if able as fast as he can. And if prevented from doing so, may only take half actions. Sure Once away that? from the danger, he must successfully snap out of it to regain control. So how do you do that? Degrees of failure? Is that it? Yeah. Uh, yes, D100 plus the, your degrees of uh, failure in tens. Okay. So 1D100 plus 4 then? For me. So do I start running immediately or do I wait yeah. for everything else to happen? Presumably you wait. Oh, hey, yeah. uh, you... Yeah. What's 85 plus 7? That's 150? The creature crumples... No, yours is uh, different. Yours isn't 85. Yours is... Uh... Yeah, I must run away. So am I doing it later or Oh, now? no, I see what you did. No, 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 that is exactly what you did. All right, cool. Oh, in tens. So mine would be... Yeah, in tens. In tens. So 58 plus 40, so that's 98. Oh gosh! So wait, where's Panic the fear? character? He also has to flee. So yeah, same, he also as, has uh, to flee. same as Karnoff. I was so close to death. Just a fear check. Is that it? Yep. 
Yeah, it's the fear table. Wait, what if you get more than 100? Isn't Brasaur immune to fear? Why is why are you rolling? I am immune to the effects of fear, not the effects of getting insanity points, if any are determined. Oh, okay. So, what did Well, I there's do? no insanity the on it unless you fear, fell a fear check that gives insanity. Yeah, you. well, you had to do a willpower check before or gain insanity. Which yeah, is, that one I succeeded on. Yeah. Yeah. So this one, this one's just a standard fear check. It's not. You're not right. fear or gain insanity. It's just a fear check. I don't have the fear table, so I don't know if there was anything on it that gave. Uh, well, okay. Uh, what is I the, think that what, would be an effect of fear, though, if it gave insanity on the table. All right. What is the fear table called verbatim? Because I'm doing a control. The shock or, table. Shock table. All right. Yep. It's also on page two seventy seven. All right. Uh, Table, one of three. Okay, here we go. If a non combat situation, the character fails a fear test, he becomes unnerved and suffers a minus 10 penalty to any skill or test that requires concentration. The penalty lasts while well, the character remains in the vicinity of the object of its fear. Uh, simply leaving and coming back does, again doesn't stop this. In addition, if a combat fear test is failed by three or more degrees of failure, the character gains one plus d5 insanity points. So ah, see there it is. Oh. Okay. Very cool. Still not seeing. Ah, uh, there's the table. I got it. Oh boy. So I'm going to have to do roll 1d100 plus, I guess, 30 plus 30? Yes. All right. 105. 105. You're stunned. Fainting dead away. The character kneels over and remains unconscious for 1d5 rounds. Oh. Once he regains conscious, he is still shaken and takes... All tests with a minus 10 penalty until the end of the encounter. Oh, boy. Just until the end of uh, all my rolls on the peril table. So I fall I'll over and pass out unconscious. Oh, from 1 to 5 rounds, though. So this might be good. You don't have to make a bunch yeah. of tests later. <laughs> on the bright side, as long as it's not physical, you should be fine. Hey, um, one round. Mm -hmm. Let's go. That's fine. It's all happening one round anyway. So. You just essentially saved yourself. Yeah, you, yeah, you saved yourself, basically. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, Nice. nice. All right. Uh, now I got to make the test for uh, all eight of my guys. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, it's gonna take a while. Yeah, it is. Hang on, hang on, yo mug. Might I recommend that you do? Are you going to do all the willpower checks first and then the fear checks? Yes. Okay. Golly. Was that a 100? Uh, not yet. He's getting to that. Oh, that, was, that was close. Okay, there's there's all my checks. It'll just be in order from one to eight. All right. All right so now I roll the D100 on the on the table, um, plus plus fun stuff. <laughs> everyone who right. fails. Right? Yeah, everyone who's failed. So the first one, 46. Uh, reeling a shock, I, he backs away. Uh, he cannot willingly approach. All right, that's fine. That's that's that one's no big deal. Uh, second one is is oh my god. Dead? <laughs> no, not dead. He's passed out the same as uh, the tech marine. <laughs> totally overcome the character. Oh no, never mind. That's fainting dead away. I was looking at. Yeah, he, he, he's fainted. He has fainted for three rounds. Uh, number two no longer has to make uh, any checks for uh, fear or anything like that. Uh, so you're the next one. 66. Uh, frozen by terror. Same as the first one, basically. 
You may take no actions until he snaps out of it. After snapping out of it, the character makes sets of minus 10 penalty. Yeah. Okay, that's that's not that bad. Uh, now we go on to the bad one for plus 50. Uh, <laughs> okay. 71. Okay, 71. Uh, frozen in terror. All right. Uh, and uh, not even a degree of success. Just 1d100. Of course he gets higher. Uh, he is panicked and he must flee. Okay. All right, cool. Um, well, that's the first of the big rolls. Honestly, not that bad. <laughs> uh, but I want to I want to read out the the rest of it to make sure. Oh yeah, yeah that that's it. Um, not that bad. Uh, it's just uh, the reality has been rendered uh, to view the the warp for a hundred meters for. I, I think I rolled like uh, I don't think I rolled for it. That's all. That's all the bad stuff. He's done. No. Oh. For one round. Cool. That's all. All right. <clears throat> okay, number eighty-six. So here's the next roll on the big bad table. Forty. Okay. Low is usually better. Psychic mirror. The psyker's power is turned back on him, resolving the power's effect as normal. But oh, the power no. targets the psyker instead. Uh, well, he's have... dead. Well, so that's like that damage thing was like all of them combined. It's still 140 uh, damage if you use one. Sorry, yo, uh, what page? No, no, no. Hold up, hold up. Yo, Those Mug, were uh, righteous Just... furies. He would have only rolled like 3d10 against himself. Yo, Mug, what page is this on? The big bad table again? 188. Yeah, go ahead and roll that again. 188? Yeah, what do you mean roll that again? All right. No, roll that damage against him if that's what it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just uh, roll. Uh, if the power is beneficial, it takes 20 times 5. Because I'm going to say, you do, he does damage. ignored by the damage unless it is warded. Cool. So 3d10. Um, because that would be how much he would have contributed to the damage roll. That's correct. And Righteous Furies don't contribute to these tables. Wait, okay. So he just took 22 minus 4. He is almost dead. Right? Um, <clears throat> I gotta see which one it was. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That was number 5. Number five has not taken any damage, so his toughness is four. So he would have taken 18 damage. He's still fine. Okay. He's wounded, but otherwise fine. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, sir. It's just a little fun for my ears. I'm good to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got one more roll on the little table. Tis but a scratch. One more roll on the little table. Let's see. On one, two, three, four, five, the baby six, table. seven, eight. Oh, okay, cool. One more roll on the little table, and then two more rolls on the big table. Oh, oh, oh good luck. <laughs> Nine on the little table is. Oh, that's nothing. Mind, Mind work. The psyker suffers one insanity. Hey. Right, th that's it. We're not going to track that, so don't worry about it. So you okay, cool. Through. Excellent. Uh, not, don't worry about that. Now for the final two rolls in the big table. 50. All right, 50 uh, is... Warp Whispers. Warp Whispers, voice of demons fill the air within 4d10 meters of the Psyker. Whispering terrible secrets and shocking truths. <clears throat> Everyone in the area, including the Psyker, must make a hard minus 20 willpower test or gain 1d10 corruption points. Ooh. And I'm passed out right now, so I think I can skip this Everyone one. Everyone right? not passed out takes it. Yeah. Oh, 4d10. Three meters. It's control. only three meters from that one oh. guy. Oh, three meters. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Nice. It's your team. No, 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 no. It's 4d10. It's 4d10. Oh, it is 4d10. Oh, hold on. So just do 3d10 then. Nah, you don't need to add it together. It just rolled all together. Don't be a baby. Uh, it's 11 meters. Alright, 11 meters. 
Everyone, are so basically just my squad. <laughs> like uh, not from the center of me. From the center of the guy that rolled it, which would be that guy. Right. So, so it's like, like two, two, like just like two of, of your mates are uh, unaffected. Right. But uh, if I'm not tracking that for my other guys, then it's just uh, anyone who is conscious. So basically me. I think I'm the only one who mechanically really needs to take this test. At minus 20. Alright. <laughs> Fucking nailed it. Peace, peace. Hey. Alright, last one on the big table. Okay, good. 19. Good. I was hoping for uh, 100. Oh no, Psychic cannot use it. Oh, jeez. War power Oh god, this. that's so horrid. <laughs> Soul Seer, what warp power courses through the Psyker's body, scorching his soul. Psyker cannot use any powers for one hour and gains five corruption points. Whoa. Oh, oh man. But can he still upkeep of the, 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 the thing? The, the, no, no, no. That, no, no. that, that wasn't, wasn't me. That was, one of his that was one of my Psykers in my squad. Yeah, yeah. he's so he's, he's down he's, a Psyker for the next hour. So I'm, yeah, basically down a Psyker for the next hour. Okay. We're not going to be here for an hour, so he's got one guy down for the rest of the mission. Yeah, basically. All right, and then uh, and then that's it. That's all the psychic powers. Wait, okay. That one's so bad. How was it? Could See, it wasn't so bad. <laughs> could have been worse. It could have been a so lot worse, but it wasn't bad. If I rolled any higher than a lot of these, it could have been a whole lot worse. I'm not saying uh, the perils of the warp table is a lot of fucking fun. That would have been but... hilarious. 100, 100, and 100. <laughs> Three demons. <laughs> Oh god. There's okay, four medic. rolls on the big table. Okay, four demon princes. But we uh, but I rolled well enough for it to not truly matter so much. Other than maybe giving some people insanity, but that's fine. Yeah, but we're, not we'll that. we're not tracking that for NPCs, so... So, like, cool. I just want you guys to know, for those of you who are not aware, a demon prince is basically a full squad wipe if we have to fight it and have no means of retreat. Okay. He, he's about to be fair, the, the demon prince summon can be destroyed if you kill the person who summoned it or the avatar of the prince. Uh, not unless I had rolled a 100, in which case I disappear and yep. then the demon prince sum it gets summoned in my place. Yep. Yeah, that's a different one. And he's, summoned, he's somewhere yeah. else. Yeah, the other Fire. one, the demon prince goes after the summoner and once it kills the summoner, it disappears. Or okay. if it gets takes enough damage to be knocked out. Yeah, or if he takes enough damage. Uh, we'll find we enough have... damage, like 500 HP, or... More than the oh, Except to Boko. So it depends on Prince... how much Boko hates us. The Demon Prince is like in the level of a Swarm Lord, if not more. No, 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 dude. You gotta understand, Boko is simply an arbitrator. Like, that's... He's already declared that that's his role. He's basically the game... Yeah, I don't hate the game you. itself. That's how you defeated that thing. So everything yep. is in proportion of what you are doing. And According that's, to the that's Demon the Prince Master's of good page, it has twelve chaos armor, which is <clears throat> just all types, and um, eighty wounds. Yeah, not much. That's that's kind oh, of baby. with our psychic bolts, uh, bullets that uh, that would destroy it. We 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 yeah, we, much we, we kill it in like two follies. Yeah. So it would right. definitely need to be more powerful. Oh, the demon but prince? against uh, that fucker, we definitely would have had a much harder uh, time with just psychic bolts. But right. he wanted he wanted YOLO full power, full power. Fuck this thing. Yep. Yep. This is the price he paid for one shot of it. Yes, <laughs> and uh, it was a pretty good price to pay, I think. Yeah, we still have the amulet too. Yes, and we still have the amulet. True. Okay, brothers, steal your minds, guard your eyes, and let's continue. I come to you and I we stand up. The, ship, the sooner those things stop existing. Right. So, you guys going around the corner? What are you guys doing? I let everybody know there's a massive group of people up here. Right, and you actually see them lowering that blast door. And we need a medic to heal up our psyker. <laughs> it's just one psyker. He's fine. Eh, whatever. I mean, our, our, our person could do it. I do awareness check. 
I'm gonna do awareness. I want to do awareness check to make sure that this path is clear. Remember that is that a uh, a minus ten penalty from Pract Visors. Yep. Uh, Tech Marine, can you take a look at the void weapon? Uh, you nice. want me to inspect the void weapon? Yeah, I can do that. So that person was wounded. So how much does that actually kill them? I was uh, heavily wounded as well. I think, right? Yeah, yeah. Like they, they had more than half of their, their total wounds. Seventeen. Yep. All right. Okay. They have one wound on them now. Yeah. It, it... All right, nice. Boko. <laughs> I'm going to roll to inspect the void horror rifle that Karnoth picked up. Uh, what's my modifier on that? It's going to be an additional uh, minus ten for all the shit that just happened. Yeah. It's going to be another minus twenty. All right, so minus 30. And then any modifiers for the awareness check to see if this this path is clear or not? All right, so what am I looking for on this Void Horror rifle? Clearly I haven't found it, whatever it is. So you look at it, and you can tell it's extremely corrupt. That's all you know about it. There's, like, little tentacles flying off it. Uh, that's also... Yeah, that's all you see. Karnoth, all I can discern is that this... This void horror rifle is tainted with warp entities. Uh, then, uh, well, actually, no, it won't do anything. Uh, destroy it, I guess. I can purge it. Yeah, yeah, go do it. I can purge it. I'm in a vent right now. I kind of can't at the moment. But you can but if get you hang over on there. To it, and I totally it. could when I get out of this thing. Yes, I think we should wait for Moth's character to do that. <laughs> Who Whose wrong? name I've conveniently forgotten. We don't have any moths here. Yeah, right? This is a, <laughs> this is a spaceship. <laughs> yeah. What What if it's mothballed, though? It's not. <laughs> it's demon possessed. I had to make the so joke. Who's Who's gonna hold this weapon, then? I'll give you the start off. I, I, it's it's just laying because I I told oh, you, you, you laid on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, who's gonna use it once once it's uh? Probably Karnoth because he's taken the most interest in it so far. I just picked it up just to just oh, yeah, to. Fair. He's the melee character though. Do you really want to give him that powerful of a ranged weapon? Yeah, I don't dude. even have good ballistic skill. What about dude? Dude, you want to pick it up? Okay, mm -hmm. everyone, right now, what is your ballistic skill? Mine is forty-five. Thirty-nine. All right, so I have forty-two. Seventy-six, but I'm not a seventy-two, 72 for dude. You have seventy-two 37. ballistic skill. Yeah, I have initial fifty-two, but I'm an expert with this, so that's nice. plus twenty. Oh so wow! Maybe right. give it to him. Yeah, I think our squad leader should hold it. Once purged, of course, once it's purified. I mean, I can work my way back the... to the bank, catch up to you guys, and then purge it right now. But then we don't have. We're any, waiting uh, for you to come here. Stuff. Yes, I am. I am watching the area. So, well, you saw the blast doors. You saw as the blast doors were closing. You saw them putting up more barricades and putting up more bolters. We can go through that. That's a lot better than the void cannon. But we have to do this quickly. That's what, that's what you saw. You're not 100 percent sure. Uh, I would like to remind you that we are near the bridge if we go south. We can't go any further south right Is now. Is there a path we... south? Are you to look for a vent or something? Yeah, I mean, I don't... From this room and such, I don't really see a path south. There is a path. Potentially lead south. No, uh, no. I remember this it path. Go doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. It, oh, okay. None of these paths lead south. Mm, okay. So we gotta go up. All right. Okay. I use another fate point, and I purge the uh, the rifle. Heard some war put corruption. There's a guard it. following us. There's Someone murdered him. Us. I run up to him.
Uh, as you come around the corner, you see a very disheveled man. It looks like he has, like, uh, markings all over him. Oh. Markings? Like, dead. Holy, holy markings. Oh, oh, wait. Hold up. Oh, okay. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> he has holy markings today. Stop. Are they punch. holy or are they holy for heretics? Are, are you exa uh, examining him? Yes. Okay. You can tell that they're very, they're, they're, uh, imperial markings, holy markings, wards. Would he, you say that, like, would you shout for me to stop? Yeah. Uh, yeah. My fist stops, like, uh, a few inches before it's his face. <laughs> By the way, uh, the clan's void weapon, I need stats on that. So In I fact, add it to the list. Moth, your character recognizes them, too. Ooh. Uh, Boko. Gasp. It cannot be. It is. <laughs> dude is, oh uh... Dude is asking you something. Go for it. Well, uh, what, the Void Weapon. I need stats on it. The Void Horror Rifle. Are you gonna pick it up right now? Yeah. Yep. It's, it's cleansed, right? right? It's cleansed. No one... Do you guys cleanse it, Moth? Yeah, I spent a fate point okay. and cleansed it. Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, it's a 1d10 plus 50 rending, 1030. Uh, that was a bit too fast. 1d10 1 D10 plus 50? Yep, rending. Thir 1030, range 100. And it's special on destruction, it'll half damage at full range. The destruction? And then of, what? Of the weapon. Huh? Save As Huh? You're going too fast, Sorry. Boko. Okay. What what don't you have? Destruction. Well, I the I don't know what I don't know. Oh, on the special on, on the special. special. On destruction of the weapon, the it deals half its damage at full range. Gotcha. Uh what's the rate of fire? Huh? Uh it's a bolt bolter bolter speed. So uh, as two four, yeah. Clip, clip, no clip size. No clip size. It's infinite. The bottomless infinite. magazine. Reload action. I I imagine if it's an infinite magazine, it doesn't reload. Yeah, no reload. Oh jeez. Or maybe it's a single shot only. It's that a, would make it's more a, sense. It's, it's up to four damage. shots. So yeah. ROF like, is up to four. Yeah, it's, 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 just, <laughs> it's just up to plus 200 damage. <laughs> <laughs> like, again, this one was different from the other ones you were fighting. The other ones looked like it was made of the ship itself. Nice. Like a copy. So this is, looks like a... It's from your armory. Actually, the Moth, armory. it's not 1d50 plus 10. It's 1d10 plus 50. So yeah, 200 damage said, minimum. You that's said why I said... You said up Plus to 200. Plus 200 damage. You said up to 200 damage. No, I said it's just plus 200 damage a turn. Oh, Damn, oh, okay. Pedantics. Okay, Pedan so it's... Pedantics make I want to double check. Boom. I want to double check right now. The damage is 1d10 plus, plus 50. Yep, yes. Yep. Okay. Brenda. With 30 pen. With 30, 30 pen. pen. <laughs> 30. That thing is fucking... And what's the class? Huh? Rending damage? Rending. Rending. Okay. That thing slaps. So class is rending, then what's the type? Sorry, type is rending. Uh, class would probably just be ranged. Yeah, void ranged. melee? Yes, yeah, it's, it's ranged. Not melee. Ranged yeah, basic. Weapon. It's so a basic weapon. ranged weapon. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. only, a, only a basic range. And what's the oh, weapon's oh, name? Oh, okay, I got it. Class would be exotic. Yeah, so, this is yeah. exotic. Maybe. So it's like you have to, you minus 20 on use because it's an exotic. Uh, no, because it's made for a space marine, so therefore it's an Astartes void rifle. Yeah, exactly. Yes, it's, uh, it's, and it's, all space marines are trained on all Astartes weapons. Yep. Except for exotic weapons. Yes, exotic weapons can be, trained, be But it's not sized. exotic. Uh, it's not exotic right. if it's Astartes. There, there's a secondary training thing specifically for exotic Astartes weapons. Oh, okay, never mind then. Moth is right. Uh, let's see if I did that. 
I don't think I did. Are you examining the rifle at all? I'm looking at my talents right now to see if, uh, if I was trained in exotic. Anyways, Moth, uh, and what is your character doing? I gasp and say, oh my god, it's blank. Oh, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> my emperor. No, it's one of the Inquisitors, it's one of the Inquisitors' holy agents. Uh, so, uh, like a spy. It, 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 instant. He infiltrates and you, you recognize him. He's not a throne agent, but he's a, he's like a espionage holy spy to deal with this type of thing. Okay. Right, yeah, it's uh, Andrax. Andrax is his name. One more thing. Uh, what's the sh name of the weapon? Huh? A void horror rifle. This is a void horror rifle. Yep. So it's, it's still a void. Imagine it's an Astartes void horror rifle. Yep. Sure. I want to call. I want to start calling it the Devastator. Nah, <laughs> that's a machine gun. Oh, it's just, never mind. <laughs> the Devastator. It's another weapon. Yeah. Yeah. Dang so it. This, this is Lily. <laughs> this is Lily. A void weapon modified, basically, by the wherever this warp entity is. It's might still be, a Stardy, Stardy's weapon. At the at the end of the day. It might be just me, but um, I actually. Uh, like, I think Void Horror Rifle sounds a lot cooler than Devastator. True. Well, Dev Devastator's a machine gun. So. Yeah. But, just to dude's point. Well, the Devastator is a marine type that right. uses a heavy bolter. Right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. That's I didn't know that, so... <laughs> yeah, the, the Devastator is a specialty. I'm sure you right. read that when you were creating your character, because Devastator is one of the options. I mean, dude is a devastator marine in all intents and purposes. He just chose the tactical specialty instead. Yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is the jack of all trades specialty, so it's a non specialty. Yeah. <laughs> it's the command specialty. Oh well, yeah, true. I was I intended to be a backup command, which which happened? Uh -huh. Antius was our there commander, and he ate shit. No, he ate a bullet. Nebrasura, uh, yeah. is that really you? I feared all was lost. Wouldn't he have a guardsman voice? <laughs> he would have a heretic voice. He's not a heretic, though. No, but he infiltrated a heretic ship. Yeah, but he has holy true. markings, presumably yeah, boarding yeah, he's him like, against Yeah, undercover. Yeah. He's undercover. Moth, voice your character. No. I don't want to role-play in a role-playing game. Ah. <laughs> Adrakus, are you still sane? There you go. Yay, Moth is role-playing! Woo! Yeah. No, well, there goes yep. that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, I followed the Emperor's teachings of protection against the warp taint. Mm. Do you want to discern? Sure, what would, role would that be, though? Well, we have a librarian. Who it would can... be well. Scrutiny would be determined if he's lying. So I'm gonna roll a scrutiny roll. Yep. Uh, but yeah, I could do a sign of science on him. I'll just do a scrutiny roll, and by myself. Yeah, one sec. I just need to check to see what master of observation does. If one were to do scrutiny, what modifier would one have? It is scrutiny. What? We're gonna scrutiny search. Fantastic. I'll just do a basic one, sure. What? Is yeah. there a bonus to it at all? Yeah, I don't think it would matter. Well, for him. Hey. He's totally lying. Karnoff thinks he's totally lying because so the Inquisitor. Way off. Yeah. So the Inquisitor kind of reports back to you, the team lead. Uh, battle is still raging on. One of, one of the cruisers was destroyed. It's kind of like you need, need you to speed up your endeavor. Cool. 
And Big Karnoff knowledge, thinks I guess. he's lying. You think yeah. this guy's a lying piece of shit. He's just another <laughs> yes. guardsman that needs to fucking die. So it's anyone... Sword? So it's anyone you know going to convince him otherwise? Well, I we haven't learned if he's truly lying or not on my end, Cobler, so if you don't oh, okay. talk. Yeah, Brasara, you know he's telling the truth. You see all the the holy markings and that's what you would have done in his position too. Alright then. And I did technically do that on everybody in here. Right. Alright. He checks out. He's 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 safe. The Emperor protects. I will still keep an eye on him. Right. Yes, I would love you to do oh. that. And keep an eye on everyone else as well. AFK for a minute. As susceptible as he is. Perhaps more so. Especially those psychers. I heard that, sister. If anything, we're less susceptible than you. I would rather you be in a cage. Like my birds, which were screaming this whole time. Damn. The warp entity has made a deal with the Eldar, as you may have noticed. Or at least this conclave of Eldar. Which is weird, since Eldar are very anti-chaos. Yes, they, they are. Right. The and Dark Eldar, I can easily understand. Yeah, right? <laughs> regular Eldar? These are fucking fanatics. Like, crazy Eldar. Oh, Fringe-level Eldar. Yeah. Freldar? <laughs> yeah, they are the Freldar. <laughs> they're not Eldar, they're not Drakari, they are the Freldar. Uh, nice. That's their leader's name, don't spoil the surprise. <laughs> Freldar the Eldar. <laughs> How's that conversation Freldar the Eldar Elder. It's definitely a less stupid sounding name than Billy. <laughs> I gave Billy Billy's name, he never gave us a name. He never did. <laughs> Loth just gave him that name. And then it stuck. We needed to call him something instead of blue fucker that keeps spouting <laughs> in our ears. I can imagine that Billy uh, probably heard you call him Billy and he hated the name, yep. but you kept calling no, him that he, anyway. No, he, he started laughing. He's like, I'm going to call myself that now. Oh, well, that was one of other two things that could have happened. So, yeah. The entity promised them protection against their common enemy, Slanesh, or uh, something of that. I haven't gotten all the details in my observation. Uh. Hmm. They already have protection. Soul stones. No. It doesn't really protect them, that just keeps their souls from being devoured. It doesn't really well, protect them, though. Right. Because all it and takes is. Anyone to go in there and just destroy the soul stones? Now Slanesh has got a huge snack. Yep. Oh yeah, but once they once they wear it, they're pretty much okay. They're just you know just don't destroy the, the stone. Right, and it's promising them freedom from all that. Okay. This is essentially what he's boiling it down to. No more reliance on rocks. Right. No Join more having me. to die purposefully, so you can hopefully resurrect a dead god. Yeah, right. right. Yeah, right. So, well, that's, so it's, it's the other, it's the other half of them. Do they still have a crone sword in the Spanish dimension. No, I, I know they have protection souls and all that, but this thing is, you know, obviously very subtle, deceptive, and it's making a very good case. The Eldar are enough so that they're going to work with it. So, what's the plan right now? Blow up the ship. Yeah. Kill the entity. <laughs> I That's think that was plan. the plan from the beginning. Let's What's continue. the plan with yeah, right. this guy? What's the plan with this guy? Oh, uh, he can help. We'll bring him along with us. Cool. Maybe Very he well. knows a better way to one of these areas. Yeah, that. Okay, you're asking him? True. He sure. is a spy, after all, for the Imperium. Try to destroy the ship. What's the best way you observe for us to be able to do that? In your knowledge base. Gotta pull out the KB number, get the KB article up, knowledge base. <laughs> I'm glad oh. someone got that. Yeah? Got a hold of him? Oh, Boko's not talking to us. 
Right, hold up one second. All right. You can run. Good. Well, good. Stupid chickens. Was it Darren there? He came back pretty quick. Oh, okay. Just asking, dear. I love you. All right. Sorry, guys. Uh, so Adrak tells you that uh, all known, all known main paths that the space marines you guys can take are blocked that he that he knows of. Um, oh, he did find a ventilation system that probably him and Brasora could take, and see if there's another path or another way in, or perhaps gain control of the vessel. Uh, so he hasn't got too far to the ship because that entity. Um, it's extremely powerful. <laughs> he had to, he had to reward himself a couple times. He's he's explaining. So I'll be right back. And he uh, he tells you in so many words, Moth, that this thing's gaining in strength. Well, hopefully, we won't be gaining too much longer because we're planning on killing it. Yeah, he says it's after like like Sinash is after human souls. This thing seems to be after human souls. So we need to stop this thing. Well, it's a good thing the dump entity decided to jump into an advantage system and work with Eldar instead of, you know, just crashing onto a fucking planet full of people. That would have done so much more for it. Sure. Hey, and uh, he kind of explains uh, to you there's a reason why it's here for some reason. He hasn't, he hasn't observed why, but there's a reason. Oh, well, that's interesting. Mm hmm No time to think about that. More bombs. Mm hmm and he tell, and he, uh, As you can see, he's all tattered, beat up, clawed. Um, his rifle's barely held together. He says, I'm not going to be much, much use in combat, but I'll go with you guys. Probably have the medic take a look at him to heal up any wounds he has. I will make him a different color too. You want to take? Do you want him to take you to the vent that he discovered? Uh, sure. <clears throat> so he points at the vent that you were in. He's like, I, I noticed you were up there. I was observing you guys. Ah. Right. He says, I wish I could help, but he couldn't. So he says, behind this pipe, there's a ventilation shaft here. Oh, where is he at? Just go right. Into ah. Yeah. Yeah. And he kind of, kind of like, uh, you see him just kind of pop it open. He pops it open after, uh, Brisora walks into it. Well, no, I mean, before <laughs> he does. I, I, I don't care. I just walk in, make a straight body-sized <laughs> hole. Yep. Right. <laughs> so. Like in the cartoons. Kinda, right. <laughs> so, this, this path kind of follows this and goes through this wall here in the next room. So. Here, I'll pop your guy out to the other room. Oh. I was trying to turn my character. Okay. Well, he's, he shows you this is where it leads to. Oh, where, where'd you go? Moth Turning character's character. up here. Oh, okay. Oh, no, that's, that's not the sword. Never mind. So, Adrex shows you where it leads to. Ooh, that's a lot of spiders. Warp things. He tells you, right, he tells you uh, he was not able to get through. He says there's another vent right over there. He points to it. Hmm. Oh, 
could be useful. Said he dare not enter this room because this seems to be the breeding ground of these things. Yes, the breeding grounds of the warp and the, the, the entire ship is a breeding ground. He doesn't know that. <laughs> I fill him in. The entire ship is a breeding ground. They he could says, just pop up anywhere. He says it's one entity. Uh, he's like, I understand. He's like, it makes sense. This thing seemed to always be like one step ahead of him. Probably reading your thoughts or something. Oh, he's like, possibly. Right, so a bigger question is, why did it choose to heavily arm this one room here and not most of the hallways up to it? Oh, uh, he gives you a full breakdown of the other hallway. He says, hey, there is some sort of, he says a space marine or something. He doesn't know, sure, not sure what it is. He says, kind of looks like your, your fellow space marine brothers, but it's, he's like, just... <laughs> Very different. Mm. Never seen anything like it before. Says the closest thing you can think of is probably a Chaos Space Marine. Closest thing you can think of. What does he look like? Wait, he knows what a Chaos Space Marine looks like, and this thing's different. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just different than he says. It's not of the main factions that he's aware of. Can ah. he describe it? Or uh, is he describing that to only to Brisora or to all of us? Brisora. Well? Okay. Yeah, he's, he doesn't he's, have a calm. Yeah. Yeah, he's whisp whispering to her. Brisora's the uh, command link, so she can relay anything she wants to or not, so... Yeah. But he says, yeah, he tells you there's, there's, there's more shipments of ships coming uh, infrequently, but there are more people coming every so often and leaving, too. Hmm. All right then. So, how big is this vent time we're in? By the way, it's like just barely big enough for humans, or? Yep. You guys are basically like side by side crawling through it. Gotcha. You guys, yeah, you guys are, it's, you could probably kneel in it if you wanted to, be uncomfortable. See, the, the big thing I'm wondering is, how much work would it be to knock out the wall over here and just carve our way through this vent? Get the space race through. Yeah. I mean, they're like eight feet tall, aren't they? And they're super wide. They can commando crawl. If two humans can fit side by side crawling. This is true. Especially one in power armor. We can manage, I think. Yeah, that's that's why I'm wondering how much work would it be to make yeah, it thinking. big enough for them to get through. He's thinking. <clears throat> I don't want our brother, those uh, space marines to get stuck in this air van to be a death sentence to get caught in here. Sure. I guess I uh, radio over the tech Especially for one that then. stands nine feet tall. Yeah. You're gonna do I'm going to over the, uh, the tech marine, see what he thinks about it. Hmm. This vent is uh, not quite large enough for us to fit through, but... No, but... You have that weird claw thing that can make stuff bigger. I was so just going medic. to say that. God damn. So if the two of you just, you know, push on the sides of the air vent in the top and bottom and just expand it. I can try to use I can try to use my servo arm to pry the vent open wider. So that'll be a what, a tech use roll, Boko? Yeah. Alright. Uh modifier. You, 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 uh, scrutinize, go ahead, scrutinize the thing to see if you can even do something like that. Alright, well, that's going to be a tech use, right? Or is it going to be just a scrutiny? Scrutiny check. Right, so you're going to just look scrutiny. at it, see if it's even possible. Like, 
scrutiny modifier on scrutiny I'm That's like 20. I'm untrained so this might be a 20. bad roll oh <laughs> uh, you you think it's possible to get enough space for you to crawl through but it'll only be one guy at a time and you'd have to like you won't be able to hold your weapons or anything really big brothers <laughs> it's it's going to be a tight fit but I could widen this just enough for us to crawl through. However, we would be unarmed and vulnerable and only be able to go file in one at a time. All right, considering how many things are on the other side of this, that's a very bad idea. Uh, we can strap things to... Directly under the other side, there's about 15 of those spiders. Yeah, so we can strap our weapons via a rope of some sorts, which will be just dragged behind us as we crawl through the vent. Well, we just put our weapons on our back, right? The Nothing. thing is, is it's going to be single file. It's, it's There's no cover on the other point. side. There's no cover on the other side either. Yep. So you will get lit up immediately by a bunch of spiders. Yep. Well, this if that's the case, then I probably should much. go first. I, we probably shouldn't. This was a bad idea. Probably yeah, we probably not a good shouldn't idea at all. Do. Yeah. No, the only yeah. thing I can think of is get Yamak and his team to go in first, use his psychic stuff to clear the area. That's not if, be if we, again. It would be two of them could fit in this vent, and only one of them could fire. It's not. Then, it's then, not, then the spiders would hit them. They die. They block up the vent, and the we'd just be down a space marine. Right. Yeah, no it's reason. utterly infeasible. Well, so so, so, Alrighty, we'll just run the blockade then. My character suddenly, uh, my character suddenly has an idea. Uh, perhaps I could plant a melt -a bomb in the vent and blow a hole open wide enough for us to fit through five or six abreast. Is that, that feasible? Is we have a void holder rifle. We have a void holder rifle. We also just shoot through the rifle. Yes. Uh, also. Uh, how far away are the entities from Yuma, who's holding the orb? Because, presumably, if the orb gets closer to them, they will just get repelled, will they not? It doesn't stop them from getting close, it just stops them from teleporting on top of us. Okay. Uh, they were before, if you remember. Like, they're, they're hesitant to approach, but it won't stop them from approaching. Yeah, I can stop them from approaching, but it'd be my last fate point, and it'd only be 15 well, meters right out. now, they haven't seen us. So right now, if you move the orb closer, to, they'll be hesitant to stay in that corridor. So they move away a little bit, at least, I presume. Uh, What we're looking at isn't a corridor. It's a giant open hangar. Oh, okay. Okay. I think we can run the blockade since we have a void cannon. We can destroy the weapons pretty easily. Oh, not the void cannon, the void horror rifle. Rifle. Void horror horror rifle. We can just run through the uh, blockade pretty easily with that. That is true. Where we can the just destroy them. Just go brute force. Speaking of which, I pop out of that vent and start walking back towards the other one. Uh, we can also do uh, if. We saw. Uh, uh, I mean, if we're going to go through this, uh, through this bulkhead tree, we're currently near. Then, yeah. Uh, if we are to go through the other bulkhead, we can shoot at the void horror rifle wielding guy, run away. He blows up, takes a bunch of people with him. Uh, win win. Yeah, it's a good idea. You, we, so what are you going to do? you going to drop the Void Horror Rifle and purposely destroy it? I vote on no. Karnoff's idea. So, there's, there's going to be a Void Rifle right here. Yeah, the guy riding it, he's straddling it. Right. Okay. And it's to destroy the door, kill the Void Rifle, run, run as fast as we can. So Blow I'm the in the vent right rifle. here. There are two bolters and a Void Rifle here, it looks like. And it looks like another set over here. <clears throat> and I think there's the Chaos Space Marine over here. I could barely see somebody big and yellow. Mm -hmm. What dish the ANSI is? Oh. Ho, ho. Well, All right, so we have that. There's, there's at least two Void Horror rifles in there. 
so like we established that we could see through that bulkhead that there right. was like and, some sort of uh thing. these guns moth you see here do you see these ones uh yeah i just gotta switch. yeah so as you look at oh yeah and, the, and there's another side right over, right over yep. here too you see two bolters and another void right before. we can destroy we can Actually, this is the furthest point that we might be able to destroy this void rifle and run. That's actually our best chance. Yeah, yeah that should blow up the other two and cause a strain reaction to kill everything out of there. Right, we just need to be a corner of, of this room right here. Oh. Yeah. Jeez, 100 meter radius? God damn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is if you can shoot through that bulkhead door. Uh, this door is open. Is no, it's it? close. We, it's close. close. I thought you said earlier was you said it was open. No, they up. they lowered it. They lowered it. Well, I can as, use the void horror rifle to blow you, up I mean, the door. It, right, it has a penetration of thirty. I presume it can punch a hole through the bulkhead if you fire. Close if it can do it. that, why aren't they shooting us? I don't know. That's I'm a good question. They don't. They, they don't know where we are. Sight. Yeah. True. That's probably it. Speaking of yeah. which, I'm backing out of the vent now. Are you, are you guys gonna do that? You gonna have Brasor up there? You guys just start shooting the shooting the area. Fuck the no! I'm not being up there when they shoot that thing. <laughs> I'll die. Uh, the plan is, I use the Void horror rifle twice: one for the door, one for the belt blockade. Destroy the gun and then run, while okay. everyone else is in the corner. So you're shooting? Yeah. All right. So I should be shot. Yeah, wait. Modifier. Everybody yeah, should back up and into Shoot this at the room door, over here. So imagine plus plus sixty. Oh, so he's plus trying 40, to shoot. Then. Okay. Because shoot. I have a base base right, of twenty. Right here is the furthest point you could be close to that, so you might want to back up more. It's all the I way mean, back into the room. I mean, Boko can just round it down to this room. Being in this room is okay. That's fine. All right. All right I'm just making sure because. I don't know how much penetration a Void Horror explosion has. 100 meters. It's, it's the same thing. Yeah, well, right through it's it. not 100 meters in penetration, it's 100 meters of damage radius. But it might, the walls itself might block the explosion enough. It doesn't. It, it doesn't? didn't last time. The only last thing time it went through the walls. The only thing that saved you was uh, Yellow Mug's uh, amulet. Yeah. Put a bubble for you guys. And his whole team had to focus on it. Now he's down one guy. Yeah. So it might not be as effective. You guys are ready? Yep. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm firing. Okay. Four shots. Okay. You fire through. You make a good sized, I guess, dish sized hole through that door. It goes right through. Like a rail and then I fire again, right? And what are you shooting at? Shooting at, each at the Void Cannon. Oh. Void Horror Rifle itself. Okay, so mine is 60 on that shot, because you're trying to look through like a dinner plate size oh. hole and hit another target. Okay, you oh. just make another dinner plate hole through the door. Do you want to fade point that? I mean, there's not really a point in fade point. There's no you point. just keep shooting. <laughs> I'll fire another one. Oh, yeah. Can you get 60 as well? Yeah. And as you do that, they're, they too are firing back. So. <laughs> oh no. Oh. What was that about no point in fate pointing if they're also going to shoot back? I mean, it wasn't about them shooting uh, back then. Oh, not a record. You... It's just, it, they fired back, they missed. You just yeah. see a shot go through the wall. Mine are 60. you aiming as well? Or... Oh, I'm aiming, yeah. Okay. Don't forget to add bonuses and stuff. Oh yeah, he's getting minus sixty because he's shooting. He's shooting through a hole with his rifle to hit a target specifically on the other end, and he can't yeah. really see it. He also rolled real high those last two, right? Eighty-eight yes. and a ninety-five. So if you uh, fire, wait, uh, every time you fire, they're gonna return fire. That's how this is gonna work. All right. If you fire as many times as you want, you just roll the dice. They're gonna be able to hit you back. Yeah, okay, fire again. Yeah. You know, if the door is getting disma like dismantled, I should probably get a higher chance slowly. Uh, but are you shooting at the door or are you shooting through the hole you made in the door? 
<laughs> right? Uh -huh. They're just they're just shooting through. They're making holes. They're making potholes through it as well. So it's, yeah. It's so maybe it'll enough. be minus fifty on the next roll, and then minus forty, no. and so on. No. No. Unless you're focusing fire on one small area, is that what you're doing? Like, you're, are you shooting where the firing is coming from? Because yeah, I'm trying that. to aim at the white cannon with a small hole. Okay, so next but shot. But this, gonna... this time, it's just going to try to bring the, the door yeah. down. Yeah. Oh, you're going to try to bring the door down now. Okay. Yeah. So you, Which, so, what was so before? You can do uh, a scrutiny check and do a plus 15 scrutiny check to see what hinges there are or anything. You can take out the door quickly. Is that just blow it like a cartoon so scrutiny yeah on the door if you want to figure and then plus out. 50 yeah okay you're able to discern as you're looking around these bulkheads there there is a weak point from all this gunfire between you and back and forth kind of at the top all right i tried to fire that area okay minus 30. okay <laughs> blow another hole through the door and they're firing back at you. Oh, they, that's... Oh, good, so, they missed. Was that 100 miss? Can't tell. Uh, no, they 50. rolled a 50. It would have a green border if it was 100 miss. Okay. Yep. So, so is the door down, or is it just still full of holes? Oh, it's... it's just, you're just making it into Swiss cheese at this point. <laughs> yep. Okay, you fire again? Because the numbers are coming down. If you're trying to aim at that one thing, it's going to be minus 30 again to hit that thing at the top. Oh, oh no. That's, oh. that's an out one. That's a great oh. roll. So you hit that, it ricochets down, and you just see a big ass explosion. Well, you better start running. You better outrun that explosion radius. Right. So let's see. How far can I run? Forty-eight. You can just move down as well. There's yeah, like if you some move down, just the max. Yeah, so you're oh. you're eighty-five. Yeah, I can just barely get out by right here. Yep, do it. You guys just hear a violent explosion. It's like a singularity collapse. <laughs> yep, you just hear three violent explosions. Or two you hear two violent explosions, and then oh. you, you hear something else, like a sizzling. Were those secondary There's... charges? After, no, after those everything... were other void rifles. Oh, okay. After it's settling down, I'm like, I need more training. <laughs> <laughs> and then you it's hear good I am. I still right. need more training. I don't know, here. 48 meters in dashing in like a second? That's That's <laughs> pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> right. And uh, from that, you hear a large, like, roar, stomp, stomp, stomp. <laughs> yep. That was a good one. Not someone else. Some stomach was uh, growling. No. <laughs> I just like I playing just with my voice. Noise. What was that? I like playing with my voice, and uh, being in a role playing game gives me a lot of opportunities to do that. Sweet. I look back. Uh, and probably sounded better in person rather than over a microphone. Domingus, as you poke around that corner. Uh, well, sounded all right. What I what yeah. I've been doing for that and the laughter is I've actually been taking both my hands and cupping them over my mouth and my mic like this, and then I just Good like audience. adjust the pitch in my voice, basically. It creates a sort of loudspeaker effect that really messes with the audio of a microphone. Yeah, who's shooting yeah, at who? True. Who's shooting at who? Thomas? Boy, didn't see up to the... You just see a giant burning rubble. You just see this giant mechanical thing with, like, multiple of those rifles on its back. Oh, oh yes. no. Who is it shooting at? And it just survived uh, 100 points of damage at pin Oh, no. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. It was nowhere near 100. it. 100? It's half damage on an explosion, so... No, oh, so it just survived 50 points of damage Times at 30. Oh yeah. Well, what am I in black? The thing you should be impressed at is the void rifles on it survive those explosions. Yeah. Which means oh, targeting is... them is not going to do anything. 
So which person which that he should That have. means when it dies, it also won't explode. Because uh, your range is what? 150, right? Yeah, nowhere near. So, yeah. So who is it shooting at? Uh, Dominguez just shot at him. And hold up. Get one more sh couple more shots out. Because you both poked around the corner there? I would step out. Yeah, I would step out. Okay. Fear me. And gets two more. All... <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like... I... <laughs> hold up, hold up. 68, 66, 66. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Those are unlikely it. rolls. Uh, that's what it rolls. For him, they're good for us. They're Un good for unlikely, us. not unlucky. Unlikely. No, it's not unlikely. You don't know because we know nothing about the random number Here. generator seed. Here, I'll roll another one. Here, I'll roll another one. Here, I'll roll another one. Okay, stop rolling. 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 Hey Tess, from a, a statistical standpoint, you will do the percentage to a power of two to see what's the likelihood of getting two sixty-six. Yeah, yeah, that is true. Getting two sixty-six in a row is like astronomically low odds. Yeah, and it's save your butt, save your butt. You know, the yeah. hit. Well, I still need to dodge the first one, right? Yes. Yep. Otherwise, you'd be modifier eating. on the dodge. You're gonna be eating a lot of damage. Otherwise, yeah, you'd be eating. 60 damage. Oh, um, that's a nat 10. Jesus. Max. That's a max damage. Damage. Modifier on the dodge. Plus yeah, 20. None. Oh. Or there's none, yeah, none. Oh. I am real. You might want yeah. to fate point that. So that's plus 30 now. Mm. Ah. Another <laughs> fate point? Yeah, that's my last one. So oh, I'm still shit. plus my... 30. My UI is bugged because I was mousing over. Okay. You just barely, you barely just dark snap, just barely. That's, that's really good. Can you kind of take cover and you take uh, Karnoth with you behind cover? Uh, oh, <sighs> yoink. He, throw, he throws your ass behind cover. Uh, it's going to be, <laughs> you guys are going to be going this way. Oh, wait, what? How did you, how did you do that? <laughs> I risked my life to no, he, grab he, you he and just throw you back. back. Yeah, he just grabbed and threw you back. Okay. I'm gonna reload I risk the my page. life for you, Dan. <laughs> <Damn. laughs> uh -uh. Thank you. The true role of fate was risking my life for you. <laughs> We're what? All the way at the bottom right of the map, I think? No. Uh. We still have oh. time to possibly booby trap this place if it comes to us. Or, like, set up something to hit it if we want to destroy it. We still have time. So, you definitely know that everything that was in there is dead. This seems to be one of those entities again from the ship itself. So, you could do mm -hmm. a tactical and see what kind of options you got. I'll roll a tactical. Where's tactical? <clears throat> so in advanced, I think. Yeah, eight, eight, eight racks, uh, he kind of oh, tells it's tactics you, at the bottom right. It's tactics. Yeah, tactics. He kind of tells you, hey guys, um, there's another corridor this way. Loop around. Where he disappears like into the shadows. Yeah, yeah. He's he's trying to lead you to it. Lead someone. All right, I guess I'll follow. Since I'm sneaky. I'll just keep watching, see what he does. I'm just near you. Oh, you're just looking, you're peering over as it's, as it's there? Or just listening in. Yeah. I don't want to peek you, out, but I'm just listening in to see where he goes. You just hear, here's you here. And then you just see it's kind of just set up. Those, like it's uh, setting up position here, that entity. Oh, okay. Uh, you see that this door is blown out. Nice. Against the wall, burned into the wall. I can't. Mm. 
Because hmm. we were over here before, we would know this connects to the other room. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't want to comms it over the radio saying, hey, you can flank it. Do you have a... Can't you... Uh, is it no, uh, just because I'm psychic doesn't mean everyone can do telepathy. <laughs> Maybe. Short range. <laughs> not how it works. Okay. So See, are you here, that still works with roleplay. <laughs> right, who's peering around the corner? Me. Okay, as you peer around the corner, you see kind of a similar, like, uh, shield thing that Moth, or not Moth, Yelmug's character has set up. And you just see that, that uh, spaceman on the other end, um, obviously in control of that. Oh, hey, they've got one of those necklace things you have, and they set up a shield. Oh, no. they, have, they have a super ancient old one technology necklace. No, it's cool. shield. <laughs> shield, not a necklace, damn it. So the one I wouldn't shield. know that. All I know is the necklace made a shield thing, so I assume that's what the do's. You're right. I don't know how old it is. Well, I highly doubt that they have an elder being technology. Look, whatever they have, it makes a shield just like that thing does. So, in effect, they have one of those. That's the best way to describe it, what it looks like. Point is, that space marine over there didn't blow up, and neither did the void rifle they're controlling on the other side of that shield. Don't go out into the open, they'll shoot you. Well, <laughs> you see that they don't shoot, they just stay there as he as he walks out. Oh. Okay, so so maybe a, they can't shoot through it. Hang on, he is a spy, so they, they might not know that he's yes. Imperial Guardsman of the Emperor. Right. But no, yeah, think, Gilmug's I, entire I, troop of space rings is speaking over the corner. Oh, I don't see that, because my vision is, like, ass right now. Yeah, same. So that giant blue thing is just a energy shield, then? Of sorts, yeah. Are you going to use okay. science on it and see what it is? Uh, sure. Any bonuses? Penalties? Uh, plus 20. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> I presume it's probably a void shield, just an internal one. Yeah, I'd imagine. Prevents anything from shooting into it. Prevents void explosions and damage, I'd imagine. Yes. Amazing, though, that it still did survive that amount, so that's a hefty internal void shield. <laughs> Considering it would have been haphazardly set up. It is astonishing that it's been that it sustained all that damage. <laughs> but I'm not a tech marine, so I wouldn't know the specificities of such a miracle of technology that has just occurred in front of us. Well, I However, could uh, I could certainly weigh in on that, brother. You want to weigh in? However, you are a space marine who does know a thing or two about psychic phenomena and the warp. I am what a space marine, and I there? do know a thing or two about psychic phenomena and the warp and technology. So, it is possible that it is an anti-boarding shield. So these bulkheads get stronger and stronger as you get closer to more vital, uh, you know, control rooms and shields. Uh, so, it is a built into the ship itself. Possibly that's what it is. He's not 100% certain. It's, it's very uncommon for it to be this far out, away from vitals. Can I roll for a warp lore? to remember whether I've studied about these creatures that just shot at us with the void horror rifle. Sure. The, the, oh, I was going to say, the, the demons that we've been fighting that are specifically unique, that only this specific demon in existence? Well, right. maybe <laughs> they're in the scriptures. We don't know. And That's I don't true. know. It, it's not. <laughs> as, far as, or as far as you're aware, it's not. It's probably Slash. That's what you're thinking. Alrighty. How about, does do any of you space marines over there know what that guy is? What guy? I, I barely what see guy? it. Yeah, we can't see Des shit. Describe him to us. He's big and yellow. Looks like a space marine. Slightly right. chaotic-y. Did Antius have yellow armor? No. No. Okay. You see... He had black armor, just like everybody else. Got it. Right. You see him, see this thing push, well, you see him push it more forward. So the space marine not built itself. into the ship. That is not built into the ship. The space marine has pushed the field forward. Yep. See, so I told you it was a necklace like yours. 
So he is equipped with a power field of some kind. Oh. Yep, you're you get him to it. move forward a little bit more. I can see the shield, but maybe I can take a I'll just stand it. here and let him, you know, move forward a little bit more then. And he kind of just kind of looks at you guys. And I just look back. Well, he can't look at You want at me to test something? Let's see if it's a psychic shield. Are you going to... Are you going to use a psychic power at them? Uh, yeah, I totally have psychic powers. Mm -hmm. And I pull out I my star bolters and I shoot the psychic rounds at it. <laughs> the, uh, void can void can bolts or whatever? Yep. The only space marines we're aware of that can wear yellow armor, yellow colored armor, is are Lamenters or Imperial Fists. Or any other chapter that has yellow in them. Yep. Which I don't know of any other. There's a few. Could also be uh, Chaos Marines. I don't know of any Chaos Space Marines that wear yellow armor. Uh, that's Ancius talking. Yeah, there's also the yellow jackets, which is apparently a chapter. But they hmm. have wear a black armor. Well, this person doesn't isn't wearing full <laughs> yellow armor either. But he is yellow. Mm -hmm. Black is and he... gold and red all over. <laughs> it's a, it's... Yeah. And as so... you're looking at him, uh, yell mug, you see that there's. Doesn't have a helmet. You don't see any helmet of any kind. In fact, he looks headless. And he has it said is a something. decapitated space marine. Or it's just armor. Oh, God. It is missing a head. Oh. Ancius okay. did shoot himself in the head. And I can hear his voice. It seems to well, be he's talking, talking directly at you guys across the way. You guys all hear this. He's just talking directly through you. Yeah, that's why I was saying, Yo, Mug, you got to voice Ancius. Because he talked. Oh, is he actually talking? Oh, oh, I see it now. Oh, okay. Won't do any good. I will not let you pass. Pretty, please. <laughs> <laughs> Persuasion. <laughs> Ancius is no longer our battle brother. He fell in battle. Therefore... This must be some perversion of Ancius, and not the real Ancius. Take care, Looks brothers. Like... Do Looks not like let your guard genius. down. You greet it out. <laughs> you hear that? Your brethren fall to our Eldar allies. Who? Oh. <laughs> 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 Our only brethren fell to a bullet to his own head. Antius is typing. Alright, dude, we can't just stand here. We have we need to have we need to do something. Come join us. We shall bring peace and order to this galaxy, this realm, and beyond. So, oh, your well, problem. Sounds perfect. Sign me up. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm okay. convinced. Brother, <laughs> suffer <laughs> not to we'll live right the over. heretic. That's the, the, that's the idiot guardsman. Heresy. <laughs> Chuck Greg, you're already a member of the heresy here. I, I mean, super legit people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if I have an idea guys he's buying if, time we need to find a way around this go go around north try to you could probably avoid the traps and there should be a tunnel right behind him you probably can take a shot very well, but then it would be like, uh, should someone distract him I, uh, at the same time? 
Too. Hang so on. For my I entire squad is, of uh, librarians distracting him. But if some smaller individuals who aren't space marines could go through that trap-filled corridor, they can probably shoot him in the back. And he'll turn around and the shield might turn. Because it's probably directional yeah, uh, I, facing front. I have a question for Boko. That was my question. Is uh, is the shield a directional shield being projected front? Or is it like a traditional bubble shield? Just scrutinize it. Uh, sure. I'll scrutinize it. Actually, can I tech use? Look at that. Yeah. All right. Modifier. I think you need some convincing. And he misses. Oh. <laughs> it, the the shield just disintegrate the bullets. All right. So I'm <laughs> no, looking at the it, shield. It went right through. Hit the shield. It went right oh. through and hit the shield. I'm sorry, no, but that it, sentence doesn't well, compute. Okay. Round, one through shield, hit the wall. Okay. All right, so what do I? What can I determine from you know, the shield? You know, he can shoot through the shield. So, question. Can we bring down the shield by shooting at it enough times? Uh, uh -huh. Theoretically, yeah. Well, you can try yeah, normal or... We hold attention, and then a group of you sneak around behind him and just shoot him in the butt. Yeah, I'll do that. So you guys gonna dodge that? I'm gonna fucking dodge that. I don't know where I, I'm. I going. have a. I, I can. Well, who's like, he I have a shoot. Yeah, who one of your guys? He's okay, shooting well, one of your guys. One of my guys just took it. I can. Send it. A... I can. I can take it. By the way, you know, I have a shield. Or is this a uh, avoid? Rifle I try shooting no, it's your, if you look at it, it's, a, it's your Godwin Bolt rifle. It's all your equipment you had on. Oh, oh, it's the that one. Holy Could shit! Could I fire? I think I should probably fire back at the fire the Floyd Horror rifle at the shield. Uh, I think I should... failed the dodge. I don't know why. No, I dodging. Maybe. So he's taking twenty-three four pin. Uh, four pin. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where's it hit? Uh, where did it hit? Uh, it's 30. 30. On the degree it's of success. Fee, which is head. So, so where does that hit? <laughs> head. It's a headshot? No, headshot. it's a... No, 30's that's, not. That's that a... Should just flip it? Yes, not. It's left it's not arm. Chest. Yeah, 30. you flip it. Zero 03. Yeah, zero 03, that's a headshot. Oh, okay. Okay. Wait, cool. what's headshot. zero 03? So, 16 minus 23... You is flip it. Okay. seven. So he takes seven damage. And it's I... dude number four. I'm going to take five damage to the head. Wait, why? What? Make that guy make a will save. We're taking damage. So I missed my dodge check. He's You're not being shot. You. Oh, oh. No, no, whoever he hit, he has to make a will save. Got it. Any modifiers? Uh, let's go with zero. Made it. Cool. But, uh, your guy that got shot in the head informs you that was, uh, no normal bolt around. That's some, psych some, some corrupted, tainted psychic bullshit. I fire, I fire the, uh, Voy Hora rifle at the shield. Okay. Modifier? Uh, plus 60. Do your damage? Yeah. That's four damage, right? You go ahead and do your damage. Four damage rolls, yeah. Nice. Holy shit. Now remember, if it's ranging, you get to roll one extra D. It's not It's not ranging. Oh, that's damage type. It's not a tearing weapon. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Never mind. Never mind. And you just see all four shots to get absorbed into it. Mm -hmm. Cool, so is anybody sneaking around? Damn. Let's, <laughs> is anyone sneaking around? D okay, hang on. They get absorbed in, but does it appear to have damaged it at all, or no? It looked like it just it went into nothing. Oh, okay. So did the shield dim? Did the shield... Didn't do anything. Did, just... It did nothing. It To you, it looked like it vanished. Like it was going, and then it hit it, and then it vanished. Just like the regular shield. Like it stayed out of existence. Oh. So we don't even know if the sh uh, shield 
It probably uh, did nothing okay, based on the description that Boko's giving us. Uh, All right. Alternatively, alternatively, I can try to get up close and personal. Well, you got this fire thing in the south, right here. Well, I, I can run past it. Also, what about the path around to the north and the east? You mean the one filled with traps? Yeah, the one someone can still just go through. Just be careful as you go through it. And you have a guide with you, the, the heretic. Well, the cover agent. Not the agent. heretic. If he is a heretic, <sighs> that's going to be bad news for yeah, us. Yeah, 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 All yeah, right. Yeah. The one who specializes in melee, go around and distract him. So. Uh, distract him, okay. So, and I'll go, like, how about this? I'll go with him. you and I'll bless your weapon. My weapon? Yes, I can bless your weapon. I see you Alrighty. need more convincing. So it's not much. You, you see him pull out uh, your favorite stuff. And he misses. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it just hits the wall on the it side like, like wall this. And it, and it explodes. All right. It's time for me to go. <laughs> and when the smoke clears, it looks like... Let me go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. All right. So as, as you're going around, I'm just going to keep firing to distract him. With a normal, normal weapon or your holy horror ri rifle? I for your rifle. Okay. Yeah. Because nothing else will damage it, and the horror rifle seems to have <clears throat> infinite ammo. If I uh, use anything the, else, I lose ammunition. Right. The way uh, normal shields work is that for every hit, they must throw on a table. It's and very clearly not a normal shield. Well, mm -hmm. I just just saying that uh, the more hits you do, the higher chance of it. Just going down. So right. that's also. To be fair, most of the shields only affect energy weapons as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to bless your blade then, Dan. It you deals guys, an extra. You guys, still, you guys still keeping his attention, shooting at the shield and whatever. Yeah. So it deals uh -huh. an extra one d10 damage, gains two more penetration when used against demon psychers and creatures with twenty or more corruption points, and your weapon counts as holy when used against demons. All right. Ooh. You guys ready? To Right. Also, right. if one of our psychers is to pick it up, they're going to start taking damage every turn. Oh. Sweet. Okay, roll don't pick up his sword. Got it. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay, by so, the way, okay. it's, it's uh, D5 energy damage every turn, ignoring toughness and armor bonuses. Before so the initiative, before the initiative, I'll just take one more puck shot. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so uh, plus ten, one d ten damage, two penetration, and it makes it holy. Yep, holy. Uh, and all of that only against demons. Uh, it, oh the extra one d ten damage is just <laughs> there as long as universal. Yeah. That okay, is and penetration not is against right. demons only. Uh, yep. That's funny. Dude, I, demons, I psychers, that. or That's creatures funny. with twenty or more corruption. I'm assuming a dead corrupted corpse has more than 20 corruption points. Yeah, probably. I got a nat 1 to oh, yeah. initiative. <laughs> yeah. I really got 6 because I didn't count plus 5. Oh no. Uh, what do the holy weapons do again? Double I'm going to be honest with you. I have absolutely no idea. I think it's on the demon cards themselves. Yeah, I think I remember Ooh. it being like extra good versus demons, you know, like bypassing their toughness or something like that. Okay, well then, yeah, as we were doing before, you guys were just bypassing and stuff, but yeah. Yeah, but I was, I, that was I the uh, that was the Psy Cannon rounds that just mm -hmm. got to do that. It wasn't that they counted as holy to do that. Oh, okay. They also counted as holy, but they also got to do that. Got I have no idea what holy weapons actually do against demons. Um, yeah. Guys, my last four shots, I got three nat one and then one nat ten. God damn. Yeah, and when he re-rolled the nat ten, he got a one. <laughs> God damn. Yeah. Okay, I saw that. Operates. And I just heard dude laughing afterwards. And I was like, yeah, that's why you're laughing. <laughs> Eric, Lady, you're up. Okay, okay uh, we should cool. roll an issue. I'm we? just going to oh, kind of... Have uh, Exist. I'm gonna focus, you know, on calming, cooling down the artifact a little bit, maybe. Oh, okay. Uh, science. Uh, cool. Spend your turn doing that. 
Any, any mods? Plus 20? <laughs> You're able to bring down, bring down a thing and thing sort of talks to you a little bit, like an impression that you can disable that shield with this amulet. Oh. It would destroy it in the process, but you could do it. Of course. Of course. <laughs> well, if everything else fails, I can bring down his shield, but it will also destroy our protection. So let's exhaust our other opportunities quickly before we have to resort to that method. Alrighty then. Yep. Uh, who's next? Yep, agreed. Neil Tyson? It looks like we have three people that rolled 14s. Uh, yeah, you should re redo the turnover table. Oh. Alright, so... Wait, wait, wait. For Sora. Ah. All right, move forward first. How much can I move? I, not I a lot. The, is Agent going to be coming with us or not? He has no weapons. Really. Well, he's a guide. He knows where tramps might be. Yeah, he'll come with you. Oh, you're coming to the north? Yeah. Yeah. Right, just sorry. Did you already move? He does a like a holy sign moth to protect you from the uh, demonic traps. Oh. They're in there. He does the same thing right. you going off. Mm hmm. But, uh, it's your turn, right? Turn off. Yeah, it's my turn. Okay. I just woke up to Prisora. Because I don't want to trip. I don't want to. I mean, I go around the trap, and then yeah. I just walk. Yeah. You looking near for more? Uh, sure, I can do that. I would have looked for more, but I used my entire turn to get here. No worries. I, I wonder if any psi psi rounds will go through the shield. I shot like an entire clip. I shot a bunch at him, and nothing happened. Oh, damn! This is a clear field. We can go right now. Yep. All clear. Let's do tell <laughs> oh, wow. character. Can you can you make a? Uh, you might want to roll again. No, you don't need to because Moth can do a roll, right? Oh yeah, next turn. Huh? But I don't and have the, to roll to convince him, do I? And the yeah, agent you do. also can. You roll. do have to convince him not to go through. Yeah. Ufe roll. You're not trying to roll. That's fair. If you're gonna roll that. If you're gonna fate roll that awareness, just let me know now. Nah, nah. <laughs> okay. It's like more fun try... this way. I'd like to see you try to convince me. <laughs> Alright, Neil's on right, go. Yeah, me too. Alright, so let's see. Uh hang on. I need to do a distance check here. Let's say eighteen meters, I can go over here. So I'm gonna come over here around this corner, kind of where uh Dominego is. I'm not gonna get too close. And then, I need to do another distancing thing. Uh, let's see. Uh, so here's my question. If I have a weapon with a range of 30 meters, can I hit beyond that range? Do I just get a penalty, or can I just not do that? I think it's a penalty. All right. There's a heavy penalty, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Yeah, like minus ten for every two meters. For every two meters? And ten. no no no. Uh, extreme uh, range, I think it was called. Right. Was it minus twenty for extreme range? Let's see here. Long stream. So like I'm just thinking, I want to draw my plasma pistol and see if energy damage will do anything to the shield. Uh, but the range on that is only 30 meters, so it's going to be a pretty big 30 penalty. meter in range increments, yeah. So it'll be 30, 60, 90. 30, okay. 90 would be at a minus 30. Uh, 
60, 60 is about here, and then it's within 90. So, minus 30. All right. So I'm going to do a two-hit roll. And minus three, zero, submit. It's I whiffed wall. pretty badly on that. It could, it could take a turn to aim as well. And it's his turn? Yep, and it's my turn. Done. He's going to take a shot. Are you, are you in partial cover, uh, Dominguez? I'm in full cover. Was that minus 30 in full cover? Minus Something. Uh, there is no penalty for shooting. It only, like, uh, you're hiding the body parts behind the cover. So if he rolls, for example, to hit, to hit the head, he will hit normally. And but otherwise, oh, the cover will block the damage. Okay. He misses anyways. Yeah, super misses. Look at that. Look at all those missed attacks. Hey. Ancy is so bad at shooting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good thing he died. His skill is only a forty-one. So good thing he died um, early, early on, like on literally the first or second <laughs> mission. So that way, second he mission. Didn't... Second mission. What second mission? Yeah, second mission. So luckily, he didn't get a chance to become more powerful beyond that. I'm glad he died. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, after hey. this turn, I need to go to the bathroom again. <laughs> so, let me. I'll just fire the uh, void or rifle again. Okay. With the shield. Plus sixty again, right? Sixty. Pew pew pew. Whiff whiff whiff. You just see it disappear again. Hmm. Oh boy. Interesting. Do you have Rush's Fury? <clears throat> yeah, oh, it. Like, sure, why not? Does Righteous Fury auto succeed? Oh. Well, it doesn't Holy matter. Shit. <laughs> I'm worried that the shield might be absorbing all this damage and then deflecting it back at us later. No, I'm not that. I'm not that much of a dick. Oh, okay. <laughs> That would be funny if that happened, though. Yeah, it's if he not was going to do that, it would have been on the big chaos demon thing with 1,500 health. All right. <laughs> right. But anyways, whiff, whiff, whiff. And you killed that chaos demon with 1,500 health. One volley. Yeah. So yeah. I, it's an appropriate response. I'm just saying, if anything was powerful enough to redirect damage, it would have been that thing. No, I'm that redirects is like something I... It would be very rare had I, to do that. That's the most bullshit thing ever. I hate me drink. Anyways. Yeah. Um, and then I want to make one conversation. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Dominego Castiar is typing. And you are voicing. No, I'm not. Dominego's voicing Dominego, not me. And see, as you know, mighty shield he got there. Oh, it would be a shame if something happened to it. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> would be a shame if uh, someone's flanking it. It'd be a shame if all this taunting was uh, for nothing and we were we got egg on our faces. <laughs> <laughs> That's a turn of action. Uh, uh. Yeah, that is full action. Alright, I need to go back there. I'll be back. Eric, please, your turn. What, what, what did he do? Cool. The, I'm the... basically just going to kind of be in a holding pattern because I don't want to sacrifice my guys to uh, Ansius. Right. Uh, the big monster move there. Uh, oh, you can't see that, can you, Karnoff? No. No, but like, uh, our dude, did he go? Our agent? Like. Oh, our... the, big, the big guy moved? No, no, the, the, the small guy. So no, he no, 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 the big monster here, so. move. Okay. Okay. I'll come with you. I'll come with you. Okay. Well, if the big monster move, then I'll come up and just uh, shoot at it with my psychic powers. Hey, uh, shouldn't your psychic powers be able to bypass the shield? No. Aw. What's the point, then? 
Uh, plot armor. Ah, uh, <laughs> boo. <laughs> boo. Uh, but I can shoot at the big uh, fuck-off uh, alien, or uh, void enemy. Yeah. It looks like it has a void horror rifle on its back, too. Right. It has four. Will... Four. It has four of them. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember. That it shoots in sequence. And I will do this uh, unfettered with my guys. Uh, but since I have one guy down, I'll just do it at like a plus. I have eight in total, so I don't know, like plus 18 instead of my plus 20. And I will spend my last fate point to uh, reroll this. Oh, yeah. Just because I want to, I want to hit it. That's better. Did I get doubles? Please. Okay, good. I did not get doubles. So I don't have to roll on the chart for everybody. Sweet. Uh, but it appears it's unfettered. That's 14 uh, D10s. I'm back. Welcome back. Hi, back. You're saying no, it has four of those guns on its back that you're killing. 78 damage. It plus... has to die anyway, man. It doesn't matter if there's four or not. <laughs> like, we're fucked regardless Minus of whether we kill it or not, if it's all going to explode the moment it dies. Now, hang on. You well, got a 10 in there, so do yeah, you get a Righteous back. Fury? Yeah. Hell up. Do you get a Righteous Fury out of that, yo mug? I know, but Bokeh said hold on for a second, so I'm going to oh, wait until oh, okay. you get back. Okay. No, no, you, you did the damage, 78. No, no, it's, it's good. Um, okay. Well, I mean, I, I did get a righteous fury, so I gotta, yeah, I can go do another, it. another attack on it. Uh, yeah, Boca said, "Go for it." Here we go. Which is another hit. Which is another. Uh, that's three, so six. Uh, two, four, six. Yep. Another sixty ten. Oh uh, my Another God. righteous fury. Okay, minus twenty seven. Which is another sixty ten. Okay, and then that's that's the last damage. End of yeah, righteous minus. fury. Okay. It's uh it's hurting. Definitely shot at the hell. You saw limbs and body parts and men fall off it. This thing's a monstrous thing. Okay, uh, that was my turn. Okay. So where I go. Yeah, it's totally clear. You can go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's totally clear. Totally clear. Do I spot any traps? <laughs> yep. One here. There. There. I point all oh. of them out to both of them. Oh, totally, totally clear. If you avoid all of those, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I will take note of that. Yes, I should immediately accepts it. <laughs> <laughs> well, she, she's like pointing at it. Oh, it's like look, it's there. I'm like, oh yeah, it is there. By the way, Ansys is taunting you there, heel mug. Turn over. I don't see anything. No, oh, he's taunting. He's taunting you. Okay. But he's not typing anything in chat. No, he's taunting you with gestures. Oh. Okay. Taunting you with space marine. Well, you have to type out what the gestures are so that we can know. He's doing a Michael Jackson dance. <laughs> <laughs> he's. He's just he's doing the stare down and he's doing the throat cut. Stare down and the throat cut. Yeah. Arm forward didn't come at me, James. It's so well intimidating. Point, he doesn't have a throat to cut. I point my uh, I take my hand, put it in a little gun, uh, you know, thing, and then just kind of act like I'm shooting my head. <laughs> <laughs> Super effective. Yeah, but you wouldn't know to do that because you didn't Far see how Ansius died. Oh, no, he sees that he's still missing a head. Oh, yeah. Still missing a head. 
Yeah, that's right. I'll just but go through all of those. Actually, Mikkel on. has a different set of eyes. That makes sense. Uh, Moff, can you draw a uh, a path from me leading downwards in like multiple paths? Because I can't do the multiple path thing. And go down, 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 down. Uh, did that reach uh, NCS yet? Yes. Okay. So uh, the seventy-seven meter thing. Okay. Let's see here. Is that your full run? I won't be able to attack him, but I can get to him. Dear Lord. Wait for our next oh. turn, though. Like, that's, get close uh, if as I use you my, can. Then... That's, for, yeah, that's for using my jetpack. I can get if another use... 30, so I can get into that first doorway, and that's about it next turn. Actually, you know what? Can you be at the door? Be at the doorway and be ready for attack next round. Okay, fifteen. I'll get. I'll get to there. That's my just just my regular full run, <clears throat> sixty meters. All right. I hope oh, there's it's... no traps in that hallway. <laughs> There are a bunch of people here with can cannons, so... Uh -huh. Let's save my turn. Okay. Neil Tyron, go. Alright. Um, can you hit the broad side of the barn this time? Well, I'm actually going to use... Is it a full action to take aim? Yeah, uh, you can have, take a half action, which will be plus 10, or a full action, which will be plus 20. I'm going to do a full action to take aim with my plasma pistol, which I still have drawn on this bubble shield thing. So you're I, gonna, you're not going to attack the spider thing? Should I? Should I attack the spider thing, brothers? It's Dude. hurting, but it's not out. It's in <laughs> the by a void explosion or a void cannon. Uh, what about uh, I'm not there yet, so I would recommend not exploding the spider yet. Yeah. I'm going to take so aim at the force field. you want to get in range whenever we explode the spider. Got it. I'm gonna take, uh, I'm going to take a full action to steady my aim against the force field for next turn. And that's it. So I want to see if energy weapons will damage the force field, and I do have an energy oh, yeah. weapon. Uh, by the way, I am still uh, carrying my shield. I'm, I just have my weapon just strapped to me. I cannot like effectively use it. I'm just wearing my shield. Right. In front of me. But it's funny, your token does have a shield on him, too. Yeah, true. Yep. You see that? It's funny. But he also has a flail, which don't exist in the Warhammer 40k universe, which... Yeah, they do. Oh, they do? I think they do, actually. Like, I've got one. Oh. Okay. Are there power flavors, though? All right. Probably not those. You need a full aim action? Oh, no, there is. <laughs> oh, wow. That'd be pretty cool. Is it? As Neil Tyron, are you just doing a full aim, aim, full aim action? Full, full action to aim at that shield with my plasma pistol, which is two increments of range out of my range. Power play was usually a two-handed two weapon. No. Ah. Uh-oh, willpower. Mm -hmm. So I to see something forming, like, around him. Uh, you're a bit quiet, Boko. You have to see, uh, Karnoff starts to see something like a field form around Ancius there. Oh. Mm-hmm. All right. Domingus, go. Hmm. I, re I do want to destroy the spider, but it's going to create the 100-meter thing, right? 100-meter explosion? And we don't one, know. Right? We well, don't know. For sure. 
I take a full uh full turn to aim aim uh aim down the hallway. Who's in the open here? While your space marines there? Yeah, mug. See again. Is one of your space marines down the open there? Yeah. Okay. Thought I asked. Oh. So three hit. Are all of them against one single marine? Yes. But he failed the dodge. Uh oh. Are, are you rolling damage for a lance rifle or a horror void horror rifle? Oh, sorry, void horror rifle. Sorry, I hit the wrong one. And so he's oh. dead. He's dead. Oh man. Is that the one that um, one library that can't do psychic stuff? No, it's a different no. one. Oh, I, I just hit the the first one that was like most like in the open. Yep. Uh, for damage. So. <clears throat> yep. This is what that's what it sees. Eric, ladies, go. Cool. Uh, well, fuck you, buddy. I'm gonna shoot at you again. Unfettered. Okay. Oh, here we go. All right. That's four, so You're that's good. twelve D ten. Sound on the table. And not doubles. Void bullshit. And a righteous fury. Hang on, or, does your uh, righteous fury auto succeed or no? No, it's not a uh, Xenos. Ah, ah, okay, right. Yeah. Uh so that would be uh five times uh, two, because I'm unfettered, so uh, ten. Right? Oh, did I? Oh, I rolled... I rolled way too many for the first one. So, tell you what, oh, you I'll, just, I'll just reduce this one by the, uh, the difference of dice that I should have rolled okay. instead. So, that was four, so I should have rolled eight. Uh, two D ten. Which means you roll what? I just add the total successes together: five and the four. For nine times two, so I should have rolled eighteen dice in grand total. So this one will just be six dice. Okay. Yeah, it makes that checks out. And that's another righteous fury. Oh. Okay, I think it's dead. Let me try and it misses. 82 minus 44. You just killed it. Nice. Uh, so as it dies, 1, 2, 3, 4. Four void horror explosions? Yeah. That's Thanks. That's 100 meters. 100 meters, all directions. Oh. Uh, Does it go please. through walls? Arnoff, you're fine. Brasora, let's see, where the hell are you? So if North I chuck the thing at it, yeah, in a minefield, would it stop the explosion from happening? Yeah, it's, it's glowing just like last time. Yeah, cool. There's so I chuck it hold at hold on. it. You might just be able to put the shield in front of you and block the explosion that way instead of ditching the amulet altogether. It's going to get destroyed no matter what. It had one more use out of it. Hmm. As far as you knew, you don't know. Uh, that's that's fair, but I mean, if I throw it at it and stop the explosion entirely, that means it's not going to hit even anyone, uh, anyone else. Right. Well, he just said Karnoth's fine, and I'm even further away than Karnoth, so. Oh, okay. We well, both of you are. Here. Karnoth has a shield, well, and you don't. The shield. I'm trying to see where you. No, I said Karnoth's fine. Moth. I'm trying to. Figure yeah, out I'm where north you. of Karnoth. I'm right here. Uh, I don't think he will be fine, to be honest. Well, what's so what's if the shield radius? protects Karnoth, then so does that the go shield. through the the through the? Uh, yeah, it wouldn't yeah. go through the wall, wall either. What, what I've drawn is the shield line, basically. 
Yeah. Where the show is? Yep. But I'll consider. Uh, yeah. What do you go through the wall? Dog. What? Oh, he went for full robo there. Yeah, Boko cut out. Boko, can you repeat that? Uh, Bersora could probably roll a dodge. Do you have any spiritual things you could do? Anything? Probably save um, yourself somewhat. I have one fate point left. I can burn it you, to stay alive. You mean spin? No, I mean burn. Well, well that's if you have to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I guess because Yomag is also or not. Is Yomag gonna hit. throw the thing? Uh, I'm waiting can. in Boko. <laughs> okay. Not many complicating factors are here. Yeah, true. All right, all right. So, so what are you doing with your amulet? So you're tossing it and focusing everyone onto it. Yeah, the the kind of just the stop that ex the explosions from happening, basically. From Oh, you're you know, like up like there. like a reverse shield, like I'm oh. reversing the shield onto it. Got it. Okay. Go ahead and make a. We just got strength check. Or what, what would you do for throwing? Willpower. Uh, oh, um, I mean, it's a so strength check. Do, yeah, so you're trying to do a targeted aim at this thing. Got it. Yeah, yeah. grenade throw, right? Yeah, it's a grenade yep. throw. Uh, well, fuck. Let me just do a uh, grenade throw. Yeah, do uh, it on a grenade. Yeah, it's like strike bonus times three or something. I don't know, but any any modifiers, it's a big fucker, so it should hopefully be easy to hit. <laughs> it's a plus plus forty. Nice. Hey, uh, you get right where you want to on them. Nice. So you're you're focusing all your energy onto it. Yep. And basically inversing the shield so all the explosion just happens on it and nowhere else. Or towards Anxious. I mean, I, mean, I could do that too, yeah, but. You're trying to see what absorbed into Antius too? That would be finicky. Right. Because it's just a perfect. Not really. You'd only really need to make a hammer, a uh, semicircle around it. Yeah, but that's like. Well, precise. That's a precise throw. Like, it's a dome or it's a. Cut it out, dome, dude. <laughs> I imagine. Yeah. You know. Put the a, dome a... sideways and focus the cone towards Antius. God damn it, dude. Or is it a sphere? It's a sphere, and I'm just inverting that sphere. Right, it's a sphere type thing, or a, or a wall, or it could be any shape. So, anyways. Oh, well, if it's any shape, then yeah, I just make it into a cone and uh, divert all the explosion in the direction of Vancius. Okay. Eat shape charge, bitch. <laughs> it explodes. Um, the damage is absorbed on your guys' end, and you see it hit his wall and just fade into nothingness. Yeah, that's my thought. Plot armored shield. <laughs> you say that out loud. <laughs> and yeah, right. Plot armor shield. Nice. Hold up. Give Your, me one. Your knows of the fourth wall. The plot is strong. See, this you one. see that shield dissipate. Uh oh. Let loose, brothers. He's Let looking. loose. <laughs> It's as, it's as if that monster was key to that shield. Anyways. Mm. Mm. Also, uh, Yilmug, to be fair... Sorry, go. To be fair, when you, uh... When you killed off your character, Boko did ask, are you sure you want to kill your character? And apparently... Oh, yeah, I mean, I know. I, I could have burnt a fate point and kept him alive. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. That's why no, I, always I do keep character justice. This should just happen unless it's outrageously stupid that I died. No, no, and, no. And me pointing a gun at my head is, well, sure, stupid. There's no real good reason to keep that person alive. Yeah, that's true. If they just exploding boltered full round, uh, you know, shots into their head. All right, so I would like to do two things first. Uh, I would like to run in, but I would like to use a free action called War Cry, which is uh, War Cry. War Cry. War Cry. Uh, I'm hearing War Cry. I'm hearing War Cry. So I basically I'm charging in, and uh, the character I must make an intimidate test, and then based on strength opposed by the target's willpower. If the character, if I'm successful, 
Ancius will suffer minus 10 to all parry and dodge tests against me. Ooh, if he is immune to fear or other mind affecting psychology, it uh, doesn't work. So um, his head. I think, gone. He, I he, think he, he has a trait that makes him immune to fear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Shooting into death. That... I think it literally makes him immune to fear. <laughs> All right, so he's immune to fear. Okay. Second action. Well, I, but I'm going to check that. I'm going to check that trait though, just the just to see. Okay. Second action is I would like while I'm running in, I would like to throw in my shield uh, forward, seeing as there's a sort of a weird uh, shield around Ancius. I would like to throw the shield first to see what happens. I'm just throwing it, just not doing, just just throwing it in front of me. Okay. Well, Why'd you do that? It electrifies. It oh. Melts. Uh, and electrifies. Then melts. So you said. Electrifies and melts. Oh. oh. <laughs> you might not want to go into melee range. God damn it. Uh, ten. Uh, it only ignores injury, fatigue, and stunning. Okay. Uh, well, seeing how the shield uh, melts, I can't really go in there, even though he is uh, intimidated by my... Oh, actually, well, I need to make the roll first. But no, I need to charge. It only happens if I can charge. So if I can't charge, then... Yeah, as a part of a charge action, a character may use the Intimidate skill to make a war cry, so... I first threw my shield, and uh, I saw that the field is electrified. And then, yeah, I did not make the Intimidate test. I will stand here, because I... <sighs> can't really do much. I'll just act as cover for Brisora if I mean, she comes through. I mean, do you have a ranged weapon that you can use, like a pistol or something? I have a flamer, but it's only ah. seven feet, seven meters. Ah, okay, yeah. Well, actually, I have. Uh, yeah, range. You know, I have three. I have three crack grenades, but they will also probably get electrified and dissipated oh. because. Well, you don't know that dead. yet. Keep in mind, the, the flamers should actually extend a bit further than just the seven. Because? Uh, range increments. It should be a range increment of seven meters. Yeah. Seven, fourteen, twenty-one, etc. I think the, the third one's the longest distance. Yeah. Anything past that uh, just fades. So it goes to twenty-one. Oh. Okay. So but past, past the first range increment, they get a bonus to the agility test to dodge. Okay, is that it? With the flamer? Yeah, I think that's how that would work. Got it. Okay, so 17, 7, 14. So that's the second increment. So that's like, what, minus 20? I'm going to go plus 20 to dodge that, I yeah. Sure. Uh, I don't need to hit. I, I'm, I'm just doing. Yeah, it's, it's a dodge roll on their part. Yeah, so it's a plus twenty to dodge for Incius. and he dodges. Uh, does that work? As I think it works. Let's see, flame. King in triumph first to the other Antius manages to dodge into the one spot that your flamethrower in its cone did not hit. <laughs> well, he can only dodge up to his agility rating meters, so he might still actually be able to hit him. Oh, yeah, true. Not really, he just needs to dodge sideways and he's good. Um, well, yeah. Yeah, well, what is it, like 30, 30 the degree is like 30, so... Well, I mean, like there this, is a I wall guess. right there in front of you that you're not... Moving yeah, past, that's so. true. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Alright. I can't find the flamer rules, but yeah, that, that's it, I guess. Go, Neil Tyron. Um, well, since I spent all the last turn steadying the aim on my plasma pistol... I'm going to take a shot at Ancius with that, uh, and let's see, 30, 
40, 60. Oh, he's like just barely within third mm -hmm. range. So the total on that is going to be minus 10 since it's plus 20 for the aim. And to hit minus 10. And I fucking missed. Pew, pew, pew. Wait, don't, didn't you aim beforehand? I did. did. So it's, it went from a minus 30 to a minus 10. Because I'm firing outside of the range of the plasma pistol. And he's firing at you. You, shot, you just shot at him, so... Alright. Alright. Oh, I I'm tried gonna... to let him on fire. <laughs> yeah, but he's returning fire on me. He's not even looking at you yet. So... I'm gonna do a dodge. I'm gonna attempt to dodge. Okay. And I'm I failed. So I'm gonna take. Let's see. You could do a fate. I because we're I, almost at the end of the session too. Yep. All right. All right. Fine. I'll do a fate point roll. Whoosh! Here we go. One fate point left, and it's gonna be plus ten. Do, 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 and hey, I dodged. Mangus, go. Nice. Oh, uh, since I've aimed at Ancias, I get additional plus 20 and I'll fire at Ancias. Any other uh, modifiers? Uh, are, you, are you at half range? No, I don't think so. Yeah, no, you're not. No. Okay, go ahead. Oh, four hits. Okay. And he is dust. Oh. He's not going to try and dodge any of those? Uh, can, he can try. He only gets one Why dodge attempt say? per turn, and he's already dodged. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. He dodged Karnoth, so he's dead. Again. I can't. Maybe for can't. real this time. Who knows? <laughs> I guess. Well, do you see guys a giant, just... You see the you see the void void round pierce through that armor like a butter. Oh. You see that a, de a dead decaying space marine guts blow out, and it just lump over. What a sight to behold, brothers. <laughs> a dead space marine. Wow. A dead oh, space dead marine. Twice in a row. You gotta think, like, oh, Antius... Before my very eyes. <laughs> you gotta think Antius was, like, dead and a rotting corpse inside his space marine armor. So, like, all those guts blowing out, it's gonna be fucking nasty looking. Yep, yep, they will be. So, for Neil, he witnessed his commander shooting himself, and then he witnessed his next commander shooting his previous commander. Yeah. Yep. Succession's power. That's how it works. And uh, it strengthens uh, my resolve and my faith in my kill team to make the right decisions. Let's hope Neil murder. doesn't become the next it's commander because then he'll have to shoot himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Depends how much insanity I stack up during this run. I got four just from this session. I went from zero to four. So we'll see. Don't worry. You can get much, much more than that. Oh, Inquisitor Orthodermis. Orth or Ordo? Ordo Dormus. Orthodontist. Yeah, the optometrist doctor is... The orthopedist is about to announce something to us. <laughs> yeah. The Inquisitive Orthopedist. <laughs> <laughs> That's blasphemous, brother. <laughs> It's okay, he's a librarian, he gets to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm allowed some platitudes of heresy. <laughs> heresy? Where? That spot on the floor over there that just died, your previous commander. Yeah, the rotting organs over there. <laughs> That's the heresy. Along the with heretical. It. And everything in front of it, and what you're standing on, and what's above you. All right, Dan, here you go. Your time to shine. Captain, what is your status? We're getting murdered out here, and the fleet has taken a turn for the worst. 
We're taking cover in an asteroid field. We lost the majority of the fleet in combat. We destroyed the majority of their fl what? <laughs> fleet. They I may pull lost. the fleet. Yeah. Okay. okay. I may pull the fleet out of safety, out to safety until we can bring more ships to bear against this entity. Oh, might want to abort mission then. No. 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 Might want to finish oh, yeah. mission then. Oh, we finish mission. Okay. It's time yeah. to finish There's... this fight. Yeah, your exfiltrate your uh your ship that was supposed to get you get you got kind of blown up. Uh -oh, you okay. still have your Thunderhawk. It's in the hangar. We're we're approaching our objective, but we're we're being slowed down by heavy barricades. But we will still compl uh, complete our mission. You forgot to mention the part where you killed your previous captain. <laughs> I I don't pres I don't say anything about that. Yeah. Say anything about what? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so so far the captain death count is three. <laughs> yeah. No. What? Yeah, answer is um, twice. It's a bit more than three. A few of those ships out there are dead, too. <laughs> and then our, oh. our captains, or another one. Oh, oh right. true, true, so that's four. At least four known captains have died. Two just happen to be the same person. All right, Inquisitor Orthodermus is talking again. Go. I, I see. I could bring the remainder of my fleet against the entity to deal some blows against it and buy you more some time. So I just want to point out that the Inquisitor has just told us that he's willing to sacrifice the remainder of the fleet for the survival of a kill team. Not the survival. For the entity to be distracted and lower its defenses to allow us easier access to the place we need to blow it up. Oh, that's true. Yeah. He's never said anything about getting us out of this ship. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's fair. Like every every mission for the Death Watch is a suicide mission. Yeah, basically. Especially that one of the Antius was on. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that so was totally only a suicide was, mission for one of, of them. Initial fleet. They have a remainder of three vessels. The Your enemy has. Mm-hmm. And the, the enemy enemy fleet, they brought them down to four ships. But they're the biggest of the ships. Let's keep that as an option. We'll, we'll let you know if we need more time. He says you have, like, ten minutes before he pulls out. Roughly. For our, is the generator. How far away is the generator? We made virtually. Oh, we, we, we made like, like no progress whatsoever. Well, we did kill the. the we have well, not we, made it. We any started in this room. Than when we started, and we've now this moved session. here. Yep. <laughs> we haven't True. even moved there yet. There's still people there shooting at us. But we killed most of our no, not most, but like we killed some of their heavy hitters. So right, right, but there's still the giant line of defense that. Right there. Yep. We, and we don't made, know how much defense will be left. Yeah, we, we don't. But we've made practically no progress. Well, I just want to say not that... Want you, not want you to kill it, that's for sure. I just want to say that... Uh, Tell them to send the ships, do it. The uh, recording has been going for nearly four and a half hours. Yeah. And we've got like 40 meters. Woo! Yeah. Woo! That's, that's <laughs> 10 meters Subjective per hour! <laughs> <laughs> That's 10 meters per hour, man. It's a rapid jog. Yes, we're making yeah. progress. Poggers. Poggers. And we're going to have to sacrifice ourselves, essentially. Well, so so we, we barely made any progress, and we don't know how much more, more defense. We'll probably need more time. Have them send the ships, we're going to need it. I mean, hmm? we might just do it on our own. We don't really need their help like yeah yeah but great. if they buy us time okay. that can 
if we distract the entity to get us through quicker, then we can get out quicker. And potentially survive. As opposed yeah, but to like, getting we're not pressed for time this. because the fleet is going away and uh, we have they a Thunderhawk. can come back. Yeah. They can retreat and then they come back to get us. You after, think yeah. the entity's going to leave us enough room to get away from a bomb if we leave it a timer? We'll have to I manually mean, detonate. And then the entity's yeah, probably going to take over the bomb. It's not going to be easy either way. I'm just saying, if we could distract the entity, we'll have a chance. Yep. And, and honestly, like... who cares about a few Imperial Guardsmen in a ship? Let's be honest here. <laughs> Not me. Couldn't be me. So are you going to get your ambulance there, Yale Mug? Are you going to destroy that last line of defense there? Uh, well, I would like that last line of defense to be destroyed before, you know, I go out into the open where void rifles are shooting at me. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, this line, when you look at it, all bolters. Oh, oh well, in that case, I go up and go ambulance. <laughs> just, there's just straight... Oh, there's just the bolters? Oh, okay. Okay. You guys yeah. got the Press heavy... Forward. You guys got to the bulk of it. If, yeah. In that case, yeah, I'm lunging straight ahead to pick up that amulet, and let's freaking go. Considering that uh, big entity spider thing that was crawling through had four, four void rifles, there's probably going to be another four hard points missing void rifles. Also, Yomug, isn't one of your librarian guys in your squad fucking dead now? Yes. So you should have less than eight. Are we it's, doing our turn order yeah, yeah. thing, or are we doing just whatever thing? Are we going? Oh, I thought we were order? ending the session here. Okay. You don't want to finish the last line of defense? Let's do the last line of defense. Fuck it. We'll, bla right. we'll blaze through this. Okay. Yeah. Are right, we doing turn order then? Okay. Yeah. Let me do do do. Beep. So it'll be Karnoth, go. Alrighty. Boom, boom, boom. Hi. I'm gonna kill you all. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh no, wait, he just got back out. Oh, he's dead again. <laughs> one, two, I'm coming for you. Three, four, I'm at your door. Oh, he killed the guardsman. He's oh, freaking shit. dead. Oh. He's trying to kill, kill all of them. They're all close proximity, too. Mm. I'm assuming you jumped over the barricades, too. So with your jetpack. Um, um, no, I basically leaped. I, I'm not, it's not that far away. It's like what? He pushed them down. It's like, what, 20 meters? I'm just like, I basically leaped and just, yeah, pushed him Let's... down with the weight of my sword. You vaulted over the cover. Yeah, it's yeah. about the height of a human, the the barricades. So waist height? Waist height no, for no. us. Like, top their head if they're standing. And no, like, I mean, for off. The normal space room would only stand, if it's the height of a human, you would only stand like one or two feet above it. So yeah, more like that's... chest height. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, shoulder height. You can still vault over that. I yeah, could. He could. Get a nice run up, yeah. Are those Ogrins or just very big guardsmen? Uh, Next big guardsmen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I, I killed someone that's ending my turn. Yep. Where's Dora go? He drinks straight behind you. I think that's the my turn. Eric, please oh. go. I ran up and picked up the amulet. Hey, as you're looking at it, you see that it is extremely hot and cracking. But perhaps Ooh. still usable. Or it's potentially explosive. Or explosive, yeah. Yeah. You'll just need to analyze it to see what's going on with it. I mean, anything? last time I had one of those things cracking on me... Uh, it was bad. Any any modifiers on this? Plus 20. Yeah. I succeed. Yeah, you definitely know that it's compromised, and it probably will explode if you focus up your attention on it again. Hmm. So you can just cool it down. So it's spent, <laughs> but I can yeah, use it as an improvised explosive device. Yeah. Or you can try to cool it down so they can can make more uses on it. No, I think what Boko is saying is that... If it's cracking, that... it's, it's going to blow up next time you use yep. it, period. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's it's Dang. physically compromised. The cooling down won't stop it being physically All right. compromised. My turn, right? Okay. All right. 
I'm going to spend my entire turn running down this hallway. <laughs> there we go. Boom, done. And she's dead. The mango skull. Same thing, just on the other side. Okay, guard printer going. Somebody just turned on an AC unit. No, hey, it's been have, on this whole you, time. I you just absorbed that, I imagine. I don't even flinch. I don't even notice that. <laughs> I have this weird thing, yo mug, where every time I hardware mute my mic, uh, which is always how I mute it, um, when I unmute it, Discord becomes more sensitive to it for some reason. So gotcha. it can pick up things that I'm not when I'm not talking after I unmute. Weird. weird. Yeah, it is weird. I don't I don't get it. Okay, and it's hitting you, Karnov. Sixteen. Ten ten. Now I got through. It's 26, oh, so probably not. Oh, God. The Inquisitor to switch teams. The Inquisitor is oh, no. <laughs> Damn it. The Inquisitor has been corrupted Order by the Dormus warp entity. Bitch, stop shooting us. <laughs> Darn off, go. Same size. Same size. How did All right, you uh, get here? Is this an entity or is this just a thing? Is it's it like. No, okay. it's all, everything you see is there. Uh. All right. You know what? I'll just do. I'll just do. I'll just do this. Uh, actually, I think I get any bonuses from this one. Yeah. Whoopsie daisy. And I can reroll the first one as a part of my talent. Okay. There you go. So the first one will be that. Uh, what are you hitting? The entity? The guardsman in front of me. And uh, the, the, the the excessive damage can go to the entity. Okay. Right. They're both dead. Oh, cool. I'll just roll again, just for no reason whatsoever. Yeah, don't hit. Don't. Okay, cool. That's where I go. All right. As long as I do a full move, I can shoot and move. So, uh, uh, you can jump over with the jetpack, I guess. Yep. <clears throat> guess I'll jet back over. Here. By the way, um, there is a door on that side. This side, so you don't worry about these guys. Oh, <laughs> okay. Just, just so you don't. <laughs> that's that'd be the next session thing. My original plan was jumping over here, so jumping past that door. So that's good. So the door is the next session door. Yeah. yeah. Got it. But it's another bulkhead, just like the other ones. Yeah, we can wipe shut. out all the guys in this hallway. Shooting this little spider in front of me. Okay. Dual shot Inferno pistol. Damn, even with the one, that's quite a lot. Well, two of well, was uh, nine three three nine one. Is, yeah, it, is the hot bolt you're using? No. What was that? Is that the holy bolt thing you're using or no? No. No. But they're melt arounds, so. Got it. So pen two, so eight is absorbed. No, that, no. So. Pen 20. Yeah, I see that. Pen 20, eight. eight. Yeah, you just confused cool. us because you said pen two at first. Pen 20. Yeah. Eight gotcha. is absorbed. So 33. So that's 
what, 25? Okay, it's hurting bad. Hurting bad, B Billy. Eric, ladies, go. Sweet. Good, good. Since you don't have to channel, you can move further if need be. Well, I can, yeah. Because uh, it's only a half action shoot, so I can take another 10 foot step. Mm -hmm. Goo <laughs> And now I'm going to blow up the warp energy. Keep in mind, this is like a six foot wall right here. We can see over it. Yeah, they can. They're, they're tall motherfuckers. Uh, so that's. Uh, sorry, I meant to say uh, unfettered. Okay. Um, so that's three times two, so six. It's there you dead. Go. It blows up. You see it blow up a pile of weapons, blood, and guts. And the other two space, the other two guardsmen, they put their hands up and they say, "We surrender." We know what happens when they surrender, brothers. <laughs> we know. <laughs> You're actually eating them on the spot? Yep. I am. Okay. Suffer not to live the heretic. <laughs> <laughs> punching him. Just punching him. Please. To death. Another one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh goodness and, uh, gracious! Atrix, Atrix says, "Hey, this is a good, oh. tell you, this is a good find here on the weapons." Who says this? Atrix. The spy. Atrix says we found something good. What? What? The crappy weapons shooting at us? The no, these machine guns here. He says these. <laughs> he yeah. says I sabotaged these earlier. Like, see if you see, look at these, the holy rounds and such, and the uh, holy symbols. So they're all jammed, all the guns jammed. No, 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 no. He tells you the ammunitions. Like, it would have ah. killed the demonic, not us. So what you're saying I is, mean, we didn't have to do, jump through all those hoops to kill Anseus. We could have just let the spy do it? No. No, no, Anseus was blocking your way. He was blocking your way 100%. Oh, okay, yeah. You know, remember the big blue shield he had? Yeah, I remember... I didn't forget yeah. about that. Yeah. He ain't getting through, but... What he is saying he... now is you have three heavy bolters, all with blessed ammunition. That's correct. Ooh. Ooh. I, I grab one of them. So. I grab he can, a heavy bolter. You can, can, uh, can do something with this. We can leave our medic here to guard our retreat path. We can leave the spy to guard our retreat path with the heavy bolters as well. And hold up, let's see. Easy. We can leave the useless psychic behind as well. That's three people manning three heavy bolters. Yep, yeah, yeah, right. true. Yeah, yeah. true. Mm hmm. Oh, if you look at uh, Adrix looking around, scavenging. It says he's found explosives too. In their ammunition stockpile they had here. Are we still in initiative? No, this is the end of the end of the thing. Okay. Yeah. And I start gonna... moving towards the door. The door shut. So that's for next session. So, All right. Uh, he says he found tons of explosives. So they were they were preparing for you guys, the Space Marines. Oh. Yeah, he's scouting around. He found explosives, and another chest. He found some rocket launcher ammo for that rocket launcher that uh, Ansi's had there. Uh, and it oh, looks so like that's where all that went. Yeah, and it looks like he's found um, found a data pad with more. Uh, was it access points to vents? So he has a map of that now. And he's like, I suspect they're trying to track his whereabouts with this. So. That's what Adrix found. Well, looks like we have our work cut out for us, brothers. We can tell the ships to go back, I guess, since we have enough to complete our mission. We, yeah, we, I contacted Inquisitor and saying, 
We found a good weapon stash. We will make it. We don't need to sacrifice your ships. Well, we don't know if, we're, if he's sacrificing his, his ships or right. not. I told Depends him to on wait. how quickly we... Uh, I told him to wait. Yeah, so. true. Well, you're not in command of him. You just gave him a uh, sit rep. Yep. Well, ultimately, the decision falls on the Inquisitor what he does next. So now Boko's going to do a GM role to determine what the Inquisitor does. No, I'll go based uh, off his character traits and all those uh, sorts of things. Yeah, no. I... <laughs> many factors that go into his decision making. I know, I'm just being a piece of shit. I mean, if the Inquisitor radios me. factors such as a D100 roll to determine if he makes a willpower check <laughs> to restrain himself from throwing everything at this guy. Right, and blowing up the ship with those kind of factors. It. Yeah. Right. Destroying you and the ship along with it. Oh, no, that, God. That, that's that Because if, if you remember it, the if, character if the, bio... If the Inquisitor sends any messages to me to ask my opinion on it, there's no reason to risk mission failure. Mm -hmm. So send the ships anyway. Yep. Anyway, that's a problem for next session. It yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, I, need, I really points. need to go right now. Yeah. No, no, no. All right. right. Thousand XP. Thousand That's XP. Good. All right. A thousand. Sweet. God damn. Dude, I mean, we did a lot what? this session. It was three big boss fights. We killed a lot, but only made it 40 feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 40 right, meters. But... It was 120 feet. Oh, well, actually, hang on. But they, they technically we made it 108 feet meters, actually. Oh. <laughs> it's uh, oh, okay. World War I you, trench warfare. 124 feet, let's go. If you think about it, they threw everything at the front defense. If we pierce yes. through, we're spearheading towards logistics. So there's going to be a what, whole lot less defense now. That's Hopefully. what I was referencing earlier. Oh, yes. That's what you think. That's what I think. And that's what we, yeah, well, we don't know. That, that, that oh, hangar I was saying we should cut through to is on the other side of this door. Well, yeah, but we're going to pass through. It's this direction, at any rate. Yeah. It could be on the, on the, on the, on the right, but we're going to yeah, go yeah, straight through. I think it's down here ish. Yeah. Anywho, I do need to go, though. All right. Mm -hmm. Sweet. All right, see you next yep. week. See, see ya. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. It was yeah, a lot of fun. Finish. All right, I'm gonna chop up, cut the recording We're not even here. In the middle of the ship yet. <laughs> I know. I was like, they're gonna hate me this session, but that's. We're, fine. We're not even in the middle of the map yet to make it to the reactors. <laughs> I, I, I mean, like, we're not tough, even halfway there. We fought past the toughest shit, though. Maybe. 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 We don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. He could merge all of those spiders into one Titan spider, and we have to fight that as the big Oh, one. God. And don't give him yeah. ideas. Uh, Jim teleporting on his protection. Yeah. yeah. Oh, boy. Um, by the way, uh, Yo Mug, off topic, but uh, Discord has a feature now where you can change your display name without changing your underlying username. So you might have just thrown things? away. I haven't had that for a while. They had that it's, for a while, yeah. No, it's not just nicknames. It's also now a profile thing since they got rid of the yeah, discriminators. That's been for a while. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well. I, I thought they added nicknames around the same time they added the profile yeah, but like, nickname where you I'm can in change developer, your own name for a room. I'm in developer mode just so I can see people's usernames. And uh, Yomug is not only Y dot 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 now on his display name, he's also Y dot 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 period. So, if you're worried about someone Wait. stealing your username, you might want to take back uh, Yomug. No, he's uh, he's fine for me. He's just Yomug. That's Yomug. probably because he's listed as a nickname as Yomug in this room. Yeah. No, but like, his original profile uh, name is also just Yomug Yomug. Yeah, but the profile names have gone through a change very recently. Yeah. yeah. So this is... This is what I see, and, uh... D dot dot dot? No, that's for Dude on the Run, and then this one is for Yilmug, and, uh... Oh, that's, uh that's what I see, Yilmug. I see Y dot dot... Why the fuck is this happening? How about me, then? So I was changing. And my, and my Discord is up to date, I think. 
Oh, well, and now, I do have developer now it's mode this. on. Now it's this. It's the Mug yeah. being a smart ass. Hey, I you said it change it, so I changed it. Jeez. Hang on. Moth yeah. is now just I couldn't M. think of another name off the top of my head. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Okay, well, I think it's a your end problem because I know yeah. my name is Moth One Two Seven. This is super weird. It must be yeah, a that's bug. That's a your end problem. I I had to fight Discord to capitalize the first letter of my goddamn name. It was stupid. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I see Moth as Moth One Two Seven Four. Your username is not capitalized though. Like your yeah, and, your and his tag. actual like username is lowercase, but what my name? Yeah, yeah. And just Son of a done bitch! The, uh... It refuses to capitalize. It's capital on my end. It's capital on my oh. end, and no. And in Boko, just uh, Antisrect all have not done the uh, the name change yet, but me and Moth have. Oh god! But yeah, Moth's so what does that mean? Is lowercase. What if but his I... profile name, his showed name, is capitalized? What if I haven't done that yet? Then what? Uh, you'll just have to like eventually. Mine is forced to do it because recently. because every time you hit, I'll do it later. It goes okay. We'll remind you very soon. I haven't had that thing appear for me yet. So yeah, maybe so they it might be that. doing it in batches then. Yeah, it's uh. it's probably in. I was one of the early people in Discord. I was like seventeen hundred. So mine happened like months ago. Your discriminator is entirely randomly assigned, and it doesn't. Yeah, but when we first got in Discord. The early adopters all had low numbers. And like some of the first also, people in are like triple digits. And Discord also said that like they would prioritize older members over newer members. When doing well, this. I've been on Discord since June of 2016, so... I've been around since far longer than that. <laughs> yeah, mine was a little bit earlier than June 2016. Yeah, alright. Well, oh, anyway... You are, no, well, no, it's just... mine was also June 2016. Yeah, I said I would cut you? the recording, and I haven't cut the recording yet. So uh, mine says January 2016. Suck it. Um. All right, well that was a good uh, uh, fun session, guys. Yeah, yeah. all 108 meters of it. <laughs> Woo! World War One trench warfare. That's what we're doing right now. Mm, yeah, so, pretty much. Because they're setting up barricades and machine guns, and we're having to get in and clear them. <laughs> yeah. All well, right. I mean, that's what, that's what you'd do if you were repelling borders. True. All right, I will see you all next week. Yep, see you.